all right everybody welcome everybody to awakening the chaos season 9 seventh day a european pc tag tournament that we hold every other week i believe today we have uh, with us on the show at least seth sefi ross however you pronounce his name as our host classic uh, we thank him again for hosting these bi-weekly bb tag tournaments and as your commentators i me zen will be here and also monkey will be joining us but unfortunately monkey has run into a bit of an issue let's say and will be delayed so if we have to i'll be casting the first two games alone by myself but do not worry monkey will be joining us today um there will not be just one commentator that aside let me open the uh, bracket because i can't find it and then i will talk about the bracket itself Mm -hmm. Alright. There's 14 people. Again, uh, it seems that everybody has joined on the very last second. I don't know why people here do this, but a lot of people on APC here join at the very last second. I was looking at this bracket once more before the um, thing started. The tournament had started. And um, there was only 6 people. I once again thought that we were not gonna have our tournament maybe, but thankfully people have showed up in the very last moment once more and we will be able to host one. 14 people once again is a pretty high number. Uh, thanks to that sale and thanks to a lot of people joining. The brackets have been stacked. We're gonna have some good matches here today. And yeah, now let me see who our next, who our first matches, and when our first matches. But up until um, the tournament does start, and we have our first match, uh, I will talk about the last tournament, the last BB Pack tournament that we had, it was a beginners tournament where LDL ended up come, uh, becoming victorious and achieving the title of the beginner champion. He's here with us today once more, I think. Yep, that is him. He's here on the um, bracket, starting off against Duang on his first game. We'll see if he is, he's going to be able to take his victory over his um, father. For those that do not know, they have a father-son relationship. I do not know why, I do not know how, but that's their thing. Um, another, what else, what else, what else? Well, Mona, which was the first BB Tag Beginners Champion, the Beginners Tournament Champion, is also with us. And he's fighting... Uh, is that Keyblade? That has got to be Keyblade, I think. Mona will be fighting Keyblade, maybe? I... That name has got to be Keyblades. Oh. Well, hold on. Uh, let me actually join the stream room. Because I forgot to do that. Oh, and our, our call commentator, Monkey, has finally arrived. Hello, Monkey. Hello, hello. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay, that's good. Um, our Pardon first me. will be starting just now. It will be Mona versus Poke. Actually, that was not P-Blade. I'm sorry, that was Poke. I messed it up the names. But we will have that starting shortly. I thought the name Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle PS4 Tournament. <laughs> would be P Blade, that sounds like a P Blade name, but that is unfortunate. That is, um, Hulk. I haven't actually looked at the bracket. How many, how many people are playing? 14 people today, it's pretty stacked. 
14. Damn, I thought this game was dead. Yeah, same. Especially on EU. This game is pretty dead. Yeah, but 14, that's that's actually sizable. That's like... Man, that's... Those are some good numbers. Those are the numbers like BB Tag was getting back in the heyday. But, yeah. It does look like it. Unfortunately, I don't think... I was not here during the heydays, I believe, of BB Tag. But it does sound like a very... Yeah, I mean, you, di you didn't miss much, honestly. I don't think so. I started, like, January of 2020, maybe? Okay. Start of the year. Okay, so that's yeah, January twenty twenty. That doesn't doesn't too doesn't too late. But me aside, we will be starting our first game today, and it is Mona versus Poke. Uh, I forgot the teams. I saw Susano, Yumi, and Jin Susano. I think two Susanos. Okay, double Susano. The God of Destruction is upon us here. Yep, I got the first team correct. Did I get the second one right? Of course, we're gonna watch the intros. I did get the Let them rock. Team. Damn, these are... Okay, so both of these teams I know are real teams, so... This isn't like a meme team. Uh, I believe Fame96, when he still played, he played Jin Susano. And, of yeah. course, ZSB. Uh, plays Yumi Susano, and yeah, I know them to both be pretty strong teams. Of course, and essentially, uh, Fame was the person that brought this team to daylight, but uh -oh. I think that's gonna be a dead Jin here. Yeah, Jin is mega dead. It's gonna be a hard climb for Susano to make, but he does dish out damage, all he needs is a good counter hit. Ground Viper gets push blocked there. Trying to zone him out with some snowbirds. It's be oof, Yo, almost big hit. Yeah, almost a big hit there. Ground okay, so that, oh, I don't know what that was. But yeah, that's that's actually pretty punishable. Uh, that little slide that Susano does. You can actually just 5A, I'm pretty sure, with Yumi. I don't know if Poke knows this yet. Oh, that's going to be a big punish. Uh-oh. Ooh, he went for the reset, to, it seems. Yeah, tries to go for a reset there. Now we're back to neutral. I mean, Susano hasn't lost much of a health. But just as I say that, he will be losing quite a few health. Yeah, spent an orbital bar. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is optimal. I don't play Susano, but something tells me it wasn't. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Tries to go and finish the job, but fortunately the combo has ended. Now gets the grab, pick throw, yeah. burst there to save Susano's life. But man, these very good push blocks here, actually. Yeah, Mona. He's bringing this back. I, I haven't even realized he's been slowly clawing his yeah. way back and he takes down Yumi. Susano versus Susano. Let's see. Jin it. has been dead since like the start of the match. Yeah, Jin has done nothing, contributed nothing to the group project. Oh, he uh, had the hit. hit. Believe in himself there. Susano oh, neutral. Oh, classic. oh Ooh, base the DP. Lord. That's going to be PDs. Yeah, that's a Mono, with the, Mono with the comeback right there. Great job. First game of the tournament. All right. I was first for the first game. It was pretty high. Um, as I was saying though, before the uh, during the match before June exploded, this team when Fame was playing, Fame was essentially the only person that played this team, I believe. Yeah. And I'm... he brought this team to daylight and showed how much like nasty stuff this team has. Yeah, this for sure. Uh, this team is super scary. I've seen, well, I haven't seen Fame play it too much, but whenever I do see him play it, it's just ridiculous the amount of like stuff he has for this team. Of course, but speaking of teams, Pope will be changing teams here to Neo now to Shirogane. Okay, this is an interesting team. I don't think I've ever seen this team before. Yeah, I, I don't know Neo teams or Naoto teams, so I, I can't say if this is good or not. Me um, but yeah, we'll see. I know Poke is a big Neo fan, so. Everybody's in the Neo fan. That character's super cool. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Even though I don't think everyone's a Neo fan. <laughs> Going to game two though here. Yo, Ooh. just gets DP'd. I'm not sure what happened there, but the DP connected. Stagger pressure with Jin coming in. Unfortunately, gets hit by the 6P here from Shirogane. Oh, double Ooh. overhead. Go watch the dome. Oh, the side switch combo, but drops it, unfortunately. Push blocks. 
Ground Viper. Ooh, unfortunately. All hits of Ground Viper are uh, low. Gets a DP bait here. This is gonna be very good damage. Look at this character. 9k meters. Oh, it went for like right. a setup there. Yeah, I don't think it to... went as like he planned it to. I think he tried to set up the unblockable, just called it too early. Now gonna be paying for it with four bars here. Toga, clearing the traps. Shirogane can be very pesky with those traps there. Ooh, oh, they're all mixed up. up. Oh, just catches him, pressing, but yeah. messes up the punish there. Ground White for once again, does not get punished. 6p okay. there. Dagger. Really so good. he like, he kind of, he's baiting the DP it looks like, but he's still getting hit by it. Yeah. Neo, uh, Jin pops resonance. Toga, Toga again, but... <laughs> Doesn't matter. <lift. laughs> the umbrella is too strong. Of course, it's gonna be 1-1 one, one here. Um, an interesting thing, he has won this game, Poke, uh, has won this round, but one strange thing is that he's not punishing Ground Viper. And yeah. Ground Viper is a uh, universe, like the uh, slide he does and then a the kick he does at the very end. There's a gap where you can press mm. a button, where there would be a DP. I personally like to go for a grab. Yeah, I There's mean, most, most characters, I don't know the frame window, but yeah. most characters can just like press their 5A. Assuming you have like a decent, decently quick 5A, you can you can usually press it and it works. Yeah, but... going to game three here though, Mona has changed his teams up. We're going back to his classic Ragnar Susano that he's won the beginner's tournament with. Okay. The team. And start here, will we see Ragnar 5A? Of course. The god button. With there you go, here. Sora again. Connected that time. Hatsu. I'm not sure if that was actually a punish. Or... Gets the uh, OP here though. Yeah, bring him down and Ragnar looking real healthy. Good Ooh, get bait. The... Gets Yo, the Mona bait on well. Ragnar. He, he's like he's... He just feels like a different player when he's playing this character. He just feels like he knows what he's doing. He's completely in control. Exactly, he knows his routes, he knows what buttons to press on which direction he's gonna DP here. See, I knew it. Goes for Ooh, two could've eight. gone for another DP there, I think, but... Ops Ooh, got not mixed to. up there, stuck between them. Push block 5A. Going Yo, for a low. Up. Empty jump low. Drops a combo, combo unfortunately. Yeah, you don't want to be dropping those combos on Neo. She doesn't do much damage as it is, and if you're dropping the combos, really going to be losing out on a lot of damage. Gets a reversal super here, though. Actual switches out, I mean, switches it out to uh, save Neo's life, but oh! Doesn't matter when you're not taking combos, your characters will die. Indeed. A blue beat combo will take Neo's life here. And 2 1, I believe. Yeah, that is 2 1. Very dominating. Yeah, I, you can tell Mono feels a lot more comfortable with this team. I didn't actually know he won the beginners tournament, but yeah, it doesn't surprise me with the way he's been playing. So He was the um, first person to win the tournament, the first tournament, and the second one has been won by LDL, which is also competing. Okay. Taking a second to uh, breathe here before we go into game three, game four, I can't count still. Oh, another switch. Playing Sethilla. Okay, we're playing top tier now. Oh man, we we top tier now. Even I'm curious to see. I don't know if Poke has actually played this team seriously. Um, I haven't been super active in a while, so I don't know. I don't know what the meta is looking like nowadays for EU. <laughs> but yeah, last I saw, Poke did not play this team. So we'll see. We'll see what he can pull off. Maybe it's a secret team that he's been labbing. He doesn't Poke want to go Question mark. <laughs> oh, he gets he a did. big hit there, but unfortunately doesn't convert. Yo, he gets anti-ed when he went for the command grab. He, he called, called uh, Hello 4P. He knows what he's in already. Yeah. Gets the overhead here. Oh, I... Makes it actually don't... work. 
Okay, I'm, I'm gonna chalk that up to being intentional and he was going for some like weird mix up, but we'll see. Yeah. Guess the assist though, straight into Carnage Scissors, will regenerate, regenerate some of Ragnar's health and goes for the DHC, both catching up in the damage and taking Ragnar out so he can heal a bit more. Tries to go for 4A trick, uh, Stagger. A bit too far Good away. Blocks. blocks correctly. Yo, nice. Burst, that Seth is gonna take so much damage here. Yeah, Seth's gonna hurt. Probably not gonna be dead because it doesn't have enough meter. But that's still, just... look, 10k. 10k for one meter. Ooh, and that's... that is, yeah, that's death. That's gonna be dead for Seth here. It goes for reversal action, unfortunately, not blocked. hit by the Ragnar from the back, and that's gonna be it. Mona taking it 3 1 over Poke. Good first set, actually. Black Cat, I mean, Poke has. Um... Try to go for a sneaky top tier switch in the end, but you gotta be really careful against this team, especially against Susano with Hobby DP and Hobby Burst, because one bait and that's what happens in the corner, you know? Yeah, this team really hurts, and like it hurts more than you think because Ragnar gains health whenever he attacks yeah. you, so you're like just getting a much larger life deficit than you would normally, so. Not only are you losing health, he's gaining health, so. It's tricky, a very tricky situation you have to deal with. And um, Ragnar's, uh, Susano's assist is 4p and 6p. Really good and helps yeah. Ragnar really well. Susano's 6p for sure. I, that button is, that uh, button is so, really good. Yeah, insane. I'm glad they didn't give it to him just as like a button. <laughs> um, in like if you're playing him point, like yeah. a special, that would have been super annoying. But Yeah. Let's see. I don't know who we got next, but that was a good first match, I think. That was, that was definitely a good first match. One thing that I also noticed uh, a while back, Susano's, like, all of Susano's specials are different things. You know how most characters have, like, you know, for example, Seth off the top of my head. Yeah, I know what you mean. Series. Like, A orb is just him going backwards, and B orb is just him going forwards, and EX orb. Like, um, Susana doesn't have any of that. All of his specials are different. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think there are like a few other characters. Like, I'm trying to think of them. I can't think of any off the top of yeah. my head. But yeah, Susana is one of them. It's very interesting. I gotta make a list of characters like that if they do exist. Yeah, it's, it's part of the process when you're like uh when you're taking one character from one game to another and susano is a character with like a lot of specials inherently because of his kit yeah uh, so yeah like when when you put him over you gotta you know get fancy with it instead of just giving him the standard ex stuff but here we go toodles coming round, in hot round two here will be toodles versus kiryu Ooh. it is Okay. Linnea Yakotsky versus you, Elizabeth, I think? I'm not Wait. sure. It's you something. I'm pretty sure it's you, Adachi. If it's Kiryu, unless he's changed teams, I'm pretty sure it's going to be you, Adachi. I played him a few times. He's, he's tried a lot of teams. Like, uh, teams, actually, the other day I played him. He played you, Liz. He played you, Chie, and you, Yosuke, I think. Oh, interesting. So Those are teams does... I've not seen him play before. Well, maybe it's something secret uh, that he has that he's been saving up until this point. It, it is Perhaps, you, Liz. Yeah, he's hovering you, Liz. We'll see if he sticks with that. But maybe he doesn't want to go abuse top tiers like Liz so much, and possibly he's going to change the dachi, who knows. Let's well, see. Oh, no, it doesn't look like gonna, it. He's, he's just going to abuse top tiers, okay. Oh, well, actually... Maybe not. Maybe he's listening to you, man. <laughs> possibly. What's, what's going on here? Is he gonna change or not? No? Okay. Okay, no, he's not, not, he's not changing. They're sticking with the you Liz here. So yeah, you Liz, I assume that the the concept is like similar to you Adachi. You get the big beam on screen and then you run you stuff. Um, but we'll see, because I don't think I've actually ever seen anyone really play this this team seriously. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not, curious to see an, what Kiryu has. Not an EU especially. I don't think there's many EU players here in the EU anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. There aren't that many. We go round one though. Instantly gets, gets caught birthday. low. You gotta be careful for Linde's. Uh, her lows are so good. 
Like, you okay. really gotta watch your toes, because she can hit you from so far. And just re-beat into a 2A and make herself safe. Very yeah. Good. Nice block in the overhead there. Causal looks 6 I'm sorry about that, by the way. Um, gets the sandwich, concept. Ooh, unfortunately, drop on the combo. Yeah, he wasn't holding the partner button down, so it kind of messed him up there. Ooh, got the cross up. Ooh, Tried unfortunate. To... Didn't bleed himself, actually. Yeah, the conversion was a little bit off there. Not sure what he was going for. Goes for EX Zio. Alright, standard Narakami stuff. That's 60. Ooh, takes the throw. Really good for you here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, base the anti air. Gonna be able here. to get the corner now. No cross flash. Nice good block. block. Cross That's oh, gonna oh, at, oh! Then they get. It was actually bad for uh, Kiryu because he wasn't able to Hello. punish. He didn't have no enough control. time. Got counter hit. Oh, he went. Was that supposed to be burst bait or something? I don't think so. He just maybe possible missing put super. Oh yeah, possibly. Max switches. I switches to Liz. Oh, uh -huh. okay. That's an interesting interaction there. Just trying to zone a Katsuki out. Oh, gets counter hit. But unfortunately, the no conversion. That. <laughs> he just goes Three for it again. Kiryu is not afraid at all. One of these days, Tools is just gonna super. Okay, gets hit. Oh, doesn't uh, read the burst. Unfortunately, here. Oh, yeah, this time, go. now he has a functional DK that he can use. 4A, though, it challenges the active switch here. Breaks the Persona, oh. and a, I think that was supposed to be a push block, actually. Yeah, that was definitely supposed to be a push block. Got DP. Isn't gonna die. Lene doesn't do much damage. I don't think he's dead, no. Barely. Active switches to... Uh, switches to... Um, kills. Got Yo, the counter Yeah, just catches Lene running up to him. Not no able to kill. I'm pretty sure play. that was that was death. That should have been death. Nice tech on the throw there. Tech all the throws so far. You know, there's been only two, but you have to be yeah. careful with how you approach you, or you're gonna get hit by EXU there. Yeah, absolutely. That was a close game, but Kira able to take it. Especially got a happy birthday. Uh, got a happy birthday situation on the um, round start, but believed in himself until the very end. Used his top tier privileges. Able to take game one here, going straight into game two, no delays. Yeah, no team switches either. Not surprised. I mean, that one, that match was pretty close, so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just a, could have gone either way. Just a tiny bit of mistakes there made from Toodle's side. One thing I will say is, I feel like Kiryu, he was like dropping a lot of stuff, and like he was, he gave Toodles a lot of chances, so he's still able to win. But that's like something you need to look out for, because it could come back to bite him. Yeah, you have to be really careful with your combos here. Especially as Liz, you don't want to drop your Liz combos because her button recoveries are cheap. Yep, she's swinging that persona. 6P here called, but... Oh! <laughs> Unfortunately, try to go for one more parry right there. Yeah, actually worked out big for Kiryu. At the huge corner carry, the classic Gatsuki air talk to cross up. Yeah, there it is. Oh, drops the conversion. Yo, just waits there. Waits for the DP, gets the punish. In the corner now, and this is terrifying against this team. Kuga, because, yeah, you got the overhead. Head. Oh, base the DP. Yo, Kiryu or Toodles in this man's head, rent free. His, the download has been completed. Getting a little bit more down, uh, corner carry, actually. I, not just a little bit more, literally carried him to the corner. Almost set up an unblockable, but nice push block into DP. Yeah. A counter hit. This should be a lot of damage. I don't know if it's death. Reverse claw slash? Oh he's my not god. Gonna be, he's not going to be able to... Oh wait, it kills? Okay. You would Reverse so slash just damage, does huh? an absurd amount of damage. Now it's an even game. But Solo U is possibly the best solo character in this game. Quite possibly, yeah. Doesn't matter how good you are, though, when you get challenged like that. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna be an astral. From downtown, guess the astral. And then wait Pop for the petal to drop. 
What does he even do anyway? He punches you once and yeah, he just punches you once, man. He's got like an engine in his stomach. I don't, I don't know yeah, the the like blitz that. count floor, but yeah, it's, it's kind of nutty. You know, <laughs> punching you once and the entire ground like a thing breaks. Stage. He's built different, man. All right, so one one, right? That is one one, yeah. Actually. Is it? Or is it? I don't know, I'm one. asking you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check the stream, see what happens. Oh my god, it's... Seth has put it away. He's playing you, Hilda! What has right. happened? I asked that for two seconds! Okay. You, Hilda, huh? Yeah, right, it is game for you here. Okay, so yeah, 1-1. One, one. I don't know what has happened, but Kiryu has succumbed to the dark side. Yeah, I don't know much about Kiryu's experience with Hilda. Actually, I, I think he's messed with Hilda a bit, but I've never seen his U Hilda. And I don't know how much synergy this team has to begin with. So we'll see. Ooh, Ooh. my. He actually that... got the... He got the... The TP, yeah. but... Yeah. That 5A somehow whipped. Now uh, we're in the corner versus Lene, a very scary situation to be in, because Lene has that... Standing overhead low mix. Yeah. Ooh, oh just gets him with the 5A. Big 5A. Right Misses That's the combo though. Ender. Dies have to because of it. Kill those life right there. Oh my god, that was a pretty dirty mix up. That's gonna be dead here. Yeah, yeah Hilda, unfortunately, not working out as much as he planned it to be. Didn't work out at all. That was. Ooh, that was an embarrassing display for Kiri. Are you I don't know. I think he's, I think we're gonna see him switch teams. Possible. I, yeah. My Maybe thought he's process just... is he's gonna bring out the Uadachi because that's what I know to be his main team anyway. I mean, we are gonna see a character change. I feel, but to Wu, I wonder. Yep, I yeah. saw the Adachi you. You Adachi. The bread and butter. Now fully to come to the dark side once more. First Liz, yeah. now Hilda, and then Hilda, now Adachi. Here we go. Mashing colors too, sort of. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Narukami has the white hair, while Adachi's yeah. the blonde, but yeah, close enough. It's easy. You're just running away from the Lene. It's a 5P into AZO, almost up conversion. Yeah, the big DP. That's the Adachi 5P having so much boxing. Okay, Kaku catches 2A. Him. Yeah. No burst punish though. The Zeos are coming out. Yeah, Zeos. There we go. That's the up. Set up, but Katsuki can carry that. Doesn't have to deal with it. One of the benefits of playing Akatsuki. Oh, DP gets uh, red. That's Narukami yeah. down. And you're solo Adachi now, punch. which is not good. We're still pretty decent, but it's gonna be a, a tough mountain, mountain to climb here. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, that. Yeah. Akatsuki was getting to... hit, so switch to uh, Lene. Oh, able to punish up. the Azio, yeah. yeah. Even got the side switch. Oh, side switching switch again. Back. One more time. Nah. Okay, no, no, no. That doesn't side switch. My bad. Guess the uh, Akiri's cross combo, but Katsuki gets punched in the uh, kick in the head. Just Ooh, yeah, there's a gap. Mashing. There's a gap there. Just goes into the super. Into another super. Wasting. Oh. oh my god, that drop. BC doesn't hit. I know Lene's. Lene's super like that can be weird. It leaves them in a weird spot for the DHC. But not gonna matter. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be 3 1 in Toodle's favor. Fortunately. There you go. It actually, you hasn't helped out much either with those very risky DPs. Yeah, he did. He lost Narukami pretty early on, and yeah, it, it just hurt him. Solo you. Or solo Adachi, sorry. That's what Adachi is.
so very good, but when you're both both of your opponent's characters are almost at full HP, it's very rough. All Next right. um, round will be. Oh, we got. I said versus. Yeah, yeah, Yuka. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Yeah, Yuka. Okay, I don't know. I don't know either of those two players. I know I said he's a um, he's a Nato Kurogami player, but I don't think I've seen Yayuka yet, especially not since I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Okay, I'm gonna see two new players. Well, two new players for me. Yep, but Isaf is a uh, returning. Uh, oh wait, no, <laughs> I do know this guy. Wait, I thought okay, that's my bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen him around. Yeah, he's joined the ATC uh, quite a few times. I'm gonna be Evo, I, wait. This is Jaju. <laughs> oh, oh Jaju. Yeah, you cut Jad. Okay, I see. That's, okay. okay, listen, that's not my. <laughs> I see, I got mixed. But yeah, that is Jaju. Okay. Or Jajuka. Jajuka or Jaju or Yayu. My first instinct when I see a J is to pronounce it like a Y, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you. Now I know how to pronounce it mentally. So, two characters, uh, two people that you do know, in fact. Yeah. I guess we're going to start user 5 yeah, later. Big hit. Ooh, Ooh, base the DP. The DP there. Jaju coming out swinging right now. Catches him low. Base the Very bust. Doesn't block. get the punish though. It's a reversal grab, but no combo off of it. So, to talk about uh, Naoto Yosuke for a second, this is a team that I'm pretty familiar with. And it's actually like a very strong team. It's one of Naoto's best, I want to say. Um, but the thing with Naoto is, like, in general, he's kind of a hard character to play. He has a lot of advanced techniques. Let's, I, I don't know how good Ice Slab is at like the mo more advanced stuff, but even if you don't know how to do the more advanced Naoto like tech, you can still get by pretty yeah, okay. Especially with that amazing 4P. Yeah. His combo routes though, they're on point generally. He tries to go for a cheeky 5C though. Now push block on the uh, Rekka. Goes for Raw Super. Not punish, but just not blocking right. Now Solo Yosuke has to chase around Yuzuri Hub, but a very tricky thing to do. Almost paid it, uh, paid for it with his life, but still alive. Pops resonance, but it's an instant overheaded counter hit. In fact, I press a button there. Didn't quite work out. That's game one for uh, Jaju. That's how you pronounce it. Thank you. Um. That Yuzu is very tricky to deal with um, for Isep because his team doesn't really have uh, tools that can contest Yuzu as range. Not a lot of characters in general have um, tools that can contest Yuzu as uh, range, but this team especially, they don't even have a single projectile, I believe, other than like Naoto, like Yosuke 6B, so very hard to deal with, especially at long ranges, really needs to get in. Going to game two though, where I'll start DP doesn't get punished. This time, point Hilda actually. In, in a tricky situation, yeah, that's almost impossible to block. Gets the anti or 2B. No conversion, reversal Phantom Pain. That is gonna be good damage here. Drops a combo, but still good damage nonetheless. Ooh, almost got uh, the first punish with the DP there. Some nice Hilda combos though, out of the corner. Has to be really careful with how he calls Yuzuria because Yuzuria is very low on life here. Gets the instant overhead with no confirm. Switches into Yosuke. Both characters have a very low characters, uh, very low assist characters. But gets the DP punish here. Maybe some nice damage. Yosuke uh, BMBs deal lots of damage actually. Gets the 4P. Uh, Goes for a weird EX, gets the cross up with the 4P though, tries to bait a burst but no bite. Uh, reversal 
I mean, not reverse a lot. Spike super, unfortunately. It's the reverse grab there. Switch to use Uriha. Oh my god, that's very hard to block. And the burst whiffed. God, I hate Yosuke. Total, like, to totally different game here. Blocks the first one, but unfortunately not blocking the second. I'm not even I, Like, I didn't block that either. I didn't even know which side that was on. Made the uh, adjustment though. That is gonna be game two for Isev, and this time, like, got that reversal fandom pain off in the corner, and took Yuzria, Yuzria's health low enough to the point where it was really dangerous to play as Yuzria point. So he forced Jaju to play a solo point, which is, while by no means easy. Uh, a bit more, um, I feel like, manageable, I'd say. This time, going back to your point on round start, it's 4P'd, but both of these characters have a really good 4P. Goes for the uh, user JA there, elbow. Baits the burst, but unfortunately, a bit too early. I like, baits the DP, but a bit too early. Gets the uh, ID back mix up. Push, uh, push blocks, and tries to dive in, but. That's not gonna work. The 4P actually beat the super, reverse the super, and Yusuke is already dead. It's been two seconds since the game started. Try uh, baits the uh, grab, but no confirm there. Oh, Yusuke has so good hitboxes right there. Yeah, 5A. Pops resonance. Just Yusuke has slashing going on. Really difficult for Nato to get anything started. Tries to go for a grab. Unfortunately, no bite on the grab here. That's game uh, three, right? Game three going to Jaju. We'll see if Isa can make a comeback here. Not reverse 3 0, but has to win two more to win this round. To win the set, I mean. Go into game three. I mean game 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 three? Game four. I, I really can't count this. Pretty hard for me. It's pretty difficult for me to count. I can only count up to one and two. That's the best I can do. Oh, they, they have a pretty good uh Josh has a pretty good color scheme too. Palace are really, really good. This time though, jump forward JA, get getting a happy birthday, gonna be some good damage. Actually, Yuzuria got reset somehow. I don't know how that happened. Got the corner mix up it, once more. The burst whiff. I guess all this burst sucks. Or just Yosuke is being really OP. This is gonna be uh, possibly dead. Oh, that that was. Um, I don't think that's what he wanted, but it's gonna kill regardless because he gets you uh, the supers and a different th a different time. Oh, just. Evaded the Phantom Pain there by crouching, but this time Killa is the character that dies within two seconds of the game starting. Gets the corner hit, getting the DP ender there, chases the forward, uh, forward tech. Oh my god, what a good 4 Fortunately, no confirm though. Yuzu has to slash away for her life. The jump A, air blocked into a reversal grab, and gets steamed. Great job. It's gonna be game four going in for Iceb. And now it's an even set. Losing that Hilda really meant a lot here. You have to be really careful with how you burst your skis. You can't burst them during his flips. I think his flips are invul or something, from what I remember. Either that, or Hilda's burst just really sucks. Now, honestly, I wouldn't mind it if her burst sucked. She kind of deserves it. My character is stupid, annoying character. Rats. This time. Both of them uh, don't jump, don't even call assists. Yuzuria's button ends up faster though. 
gets the air counter hit into 4p. The burst, once again, another whiff burst. There's been a lot of whiff bursts that's whiffed uh, at the start of the game. Gets counter hit by JB. Lots of hits from there. Ooh, what a great anti-air. Uh, Hilda's 2C is a really good anti-air to deal with uh, the charge JB that Ice have, uh, Nato has. And back to neutral here. Trying to hit uh, Nato with the uh, jump A. There. Gets the DP punish though. This is going to be lots of damage, but not going to be dead since he doesn't have enough meter. Still, a good 10k through a single meter. And you get the Oki. Those were the tech okay. trees, I think. I'm back. I'm sorry. What happened oh. while I was gone? Oh, welcome, welcome back. This is 2 2 right now. 2 2? Yeah. Holy, wait a minute. Jaju is down 2. Oh my. Okay. Things right. are happening. Gets hit Yo, and he's about to lose as well. Possibly, but maybe you can make a comeback. He'll uh, definitely one of those characters that can't turn the tides. Goes for the nail turned. Nail turned once more. Another one. Not. We're not gonna see another one more. Good decision though. Spend all the meter since he had a lot of meter from the resonance, and when he end, the extra meter goes away. So we just thought I should waste all the meter. Gets the burst here though. Never want to be oh, blocked. Yes, oh, him. that God. was a huge counter hit. You're in so much hit stun when you get hit by that 5B like that. Especially on counter hit. And wait, so Islev just wins? Yeah, that is 3 2, I believe. Wow, and okay. So I don't. In my mind, that's just like a huge upset because I know Jaju to be one of the best in EU, right? So for Islev to beat him like that, 3 2, that's huge. Great. Good job on his part. Or maybe I'm just sleeping on his lap. Maybe I didn't know how strong dude actually was. He's really good. He always beats my ass too. Okay. But yeah, his team his team is for sure a good team. I do think it's one of the stronger Nauto teams in general as well. Of course, but Yuzria Hilda is no slack either. Yeah. Not the yeah, um, sure. war, not the best Hilda team, but definitely not a bad Hilda team. Really yeah, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people think it's like one of the stronger Hilda teams, right? Because <laughs> Pizza Mayo, Pizza Mayo, I think popularized it. But I have been informed. Uh, I've had discussion, and yeah, apparently some individuals don't think it's the strongest team. Which, based on their reasoning, I can kind of get behind. But yeah, still, still a good team regardless, right? It's got Hilda definitely. in it. In my opinion, the best Hilda team is definitely Seth Hilda. That team. Yeah. That's kind of the go-to, right? Yeah, I think that is the best Hilda team. But that aside, Hilda aside, we're going to be seeing Toodles here. For, and Toodles versus Roxa. Okay. I forgot which team Roxa played. I, he played a, he plays a lot of teams, doesn't he? He played Dachi Yumi at one point, I remember. He also plays Rachel, I think. Yeah, you, that's Roxas, right? With an yeah. S. Yes. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, Roxas plays a lot of teams. Plays mainly whatever's top tier, um, and is very good at playing top tier teams as well. So, probably expect to see some top tier team in some form. All the teams that we've seen so far have generally been really good teams anyway. Except for a few exceptions, of course. Oh, I messed up my controller. No, I don't want to ready up. I... No. Okay. Now we're waiting for Roxas to join the lobby, and then yeah. we'll see. I'm super curious because <clears throat> I've been, I've kind of been away for a while, so I don't mm -hmm. know what many people have been doing in terms of like teams they've been playing. So I'm interested to see what Roxas is going to play. I'm seeing yeah. him over Carmine Susano, which an unblockable team. So it's more, I feel like Carmine, I'm. Uh, the unblockables that Carmine makes is so good. You can't pass up. Plus the damage of that. Oh, I just saw Dachi Teddy. I saw Dachi Teddy too. <laughs> um, huh. I, is this a high tier team? What do you know about uh, this? Not you, so. so I've seen Hilda Teddy. I've, seen I've that even too. seen Blake Teddy. I don't think I've ever seen a Dachi Teddy before. Teddy is really popular in Japan, but... I don't yeah. think I know a single player that plays Teddy in EU. 
there was Orfgan, who used to play Teddy. Well, used to play the game, doesn't really play much anymore. Um, and then there was... I feel like there's someone else that I'm forgetting, but yeah, there aren't many Teddy players. Possibly, but that Teddy 5P coming in clutch, I believe is the fastest assist in the game. I've heard that as well. Fastest assist in the game that has a lot of blocks on and crosses you up. Yeah, the to... side switch is huge. That 5B from Akatsuki coming in clutch though. Oh, yeah, bad girl. Screw. Oh, best screw. My apologies. That's right. Um, got the cross up, but is able to block. Doesn't punish though. Ooh, but does hey, this combo he... work on Lene? Maybe not. Maybe Lene yeah, is too short. I guess she's too short. Too small, baby Lene. But still 7k. I think that the counter at plus life is lots of damage. Regardless, Lene has to be really careful. And there's a mysterious food there. Yes, oh, and the meteors that. are in. Yeah, I guess so. You can see the meteors coming in. Nice 7.5. Okay. Challenges. A trade. Yeah, big trade. Gets yes, him with the 5B. Lene will yes. snipe you out the air with that 5B. Ooh, goes for some sort of reset. Three. Doesn't really work out because he DP's. Yo, oh, he just ran into he that. He just ran up into that. That's gonna be dead. What? Oh, that's not, it's not gonna be Teddy. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> the dead corpse of Teddy is tanked into Renachi. Oh no. And that's gonna be a dead Akasuki. No. Oh no. Don't lose like this. The corpse of Teddy. No. Yo, he got baited. My man tried to tech the throw, but Adachi was nowhere to be seen. Gonna end him. Very oh, close game no. though. That is so, such a sad way to lose the game. Yeah, that's tragic. <laughs> the corpse of Teddy blocking the Akatsuki in the A3 for Adachi. Tell him, get out of the way, Adachi. Mr. President, get out of the way. Akatsuki is coming. <laughs>it's interesting because, I mean, that game wasn't... Yeah, like, that game was... It kind of a felt like it was honestly. Toodles games. Yeah, it was a big scramble. And, like, Roxas got pretty lucky there, but was able to use that luck and turn it around. Like, fully turn it around to his win, so... Wasn't uh, surprised at all. He just kept his cool and won again. Yeah, I mean, that's Roxas day. in a nutshell, honestly. Roxas is a really good player. I remember he, when I first started, beat my ass really hard with the Dachi yeah. and I'm really mad at him for that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when anyone has to play a Dachi Yumi, being mad is usually... That's usually the emotion that is experienced. Of course. Pass of pass up there. Okay, I'm starting to see that this team has source. You got the best screw or the bed drill into, into cross up there, the cross up beam. I mean, beam is really good for that. But Tadachi, especially the Bezio lasting so long. I really want, I wonder, like, because Roxas is someone who usually just plays, like, a team that's already been found to be strong. So, like, someone else would have already played it. So, I wonder if there's anyone who plays Adachi Teddy. Possibly in Japan, Teddy is a really popular character in Japan, but Adachi is going to be dying here. Tries to get the incoming cross up with Lenny's dive kick after his cross combo. In a standard situation here, blocks 5B. I think there was a little bit of lag there, maybe? Perhaps. The barrels are in. The teleport. Ooh, but... That's a block. But yeah, the Katsuki coming in clutch. Katsuki 4P there. This time, told Linne herself to get down. Uh, Air is coming through. This is yeah. not going to be not there. death, but this match is looking all toodles right now. going to be really hard for Roxas to make this comeback. Solo Teddy. Kugas are coming through, and yeah, yeah. one Kuga. And that's gonna be dead. That's one one. one, one. Alright, well. <sighs> Toodles right there. Oh my god, my code. Toodles, uh, uns uh, not caring about that last game. Also keeping his cool. No. I couldn't do that. If that was me, uh, I would have played that last game 
incredibly frustrated because of the first game. Yeah, for sure. Being able to uh, play like well, even despite like something really unfortunate happening in a game beforehand, is a pretty big skill, and one that's like it takes time to learn how to do that, right? Time yeah, and experience. It... You gotta control your mental really um, well, but Adachi Yosuke coming through instead of Adachi Teddy. Okay, this is another team that I know, another Yosuke team that I know to be very good. Yeah, this is really popular in NA, I believe. See? Um, yeah, team. NA, I don't think there's anyone in Japan really that plays the team, but definitely yeah. in NA. I believe the only. Yosuke players in Japan play Seth Yosuke or something. Now you're in a sandwich situation, just raw, super, but that's safe, it seems. Goes straight into Adam Smasher, no chance for bait, but gets the uh, Beatatsu there. KBs are coming out, the Katsuki 6B. Ooh, what a great end here. Uh, happy birthday. Really good corner carry plus really good damage here. I don't think Adachi is gonna die, but well, okay. He doesn't even decide to cash out. Tries to bait a burst that doesn't exist. Goes for a raw super. That's now going to be a dead um, Adachi. Ooh, Kuga. Lene 6P, I believe that is. I see. That's the first time I've seen that assist hit. Now it's an even game though. Kaski is dead, and Yosuke has actually has to be really careful. The DP unfortunately doesn't get punished. Straight push blocks, no DP on Ast uh, no Astro on deck for uh, Yosuke anymore. But there's Astro on deck for uh, Lene. So I don't think he's gonna be able to use that because. Yeah. No, oh, no shot. Oh, never mind. Lene is alive, but the cross up in the corner there. I mean so. One salt is. Really good, the flip. Stupid flip. Yeah, it is it is very good. Like, people, there are like layers to it because depending on how the player is using Moonsault, it can be like the easiest mix to block because you just block the other way every time. Yes. But then you have like a layer above that where people start mixing up how they use Moonsault and start using the EX version. So it becomes difficult. And if you're playing a really good Yosuke, it can be like really hard to, to judge and to block. Yeah, this game definitely a very tricky character to block, especially online here. The Azios are set up, trying to... There you go. So yeah, oh. this team has the ability to jail um, Azio into Yosuke 6P and into Bzio. And that just is really big because it just gives so much block stun and you can just run any mix you want to. And just like how this Lenny has been getting mixed this entire game. The BZ has been set up once more. Just bursts oh. out, unfortunately no punish on the burst there. Yeah, the Lene... Moonsault was good to dodge, but doesn't get the punish, unfortunately. Now we're going to be seeing a good corner combo. Yo, Ooh, there you go, he got the land cancel. I see you, Roxas. Ends it in V slash, now in a stuck situation. Tries to um, bait a super from Toodles. Toodles didn't desire to super this time, just straight up blocks it. So, yeah. you toss it. Here comes the parries. Oh, only one parry. Start to end here. Yosuke with five, Lene 5D here. Oh, snipes Yosuke out the ass. Good blocks. Doesn't oh, block. Yeah, there that you is go. really tricky to difficult. Uh, it's a difficult to block. But straight runs up into Katsuki's hands. And that is going to be dead if you just go straight into yep. Super. Yeah. Super. Might not even need the DHC. Possibly. Yeah, there you go. Yosuke, not a very healthy boy. Six Joint lowest K. health in the... Yeah, exactly. Yo, guessing with the mix. The mixies. Second time. And here we go. You're in the corner. Kuga here. Meaty Kuga. Very plus. Ooh, that's going to be dead. Oh, no. But this is going to be a punish. Oh. He messes up the punish. Air the Adam Smasher is such a weird thing to punish. Yeah, and the thing is, even if he got that punish, he wouldn't—he wasn't going to be able to kill Adachi. So yeah, that was, was a really play. smart by Roxas. He's got the uh, audacity to press a button afterwards as well. <laughs> the two A, because there's a lot of recovery on that five B by Lene. It's big, yeah. but yeah, it's it's punishable for sure. 
That's going to be 3 1 in Roxas' favor, though, I believe. 3 1. Damn. Really close games. Uh, don't let the score fool you, because even though it's a 3 1, Toodles was just a couple of uh, decisions away from actually taking that set. Next game, though. What we got? I do not know. <laughs> not yet. Oh, interesting game. So I'm... Oh, what we got? Duang versus Isla or Isa is going to be on stream next. Okay, so that's a that's a classic rivalry. For the um, past couple of ATCs, yeah, this has been the new rivalry. You can say. I see. I see. Both of them have been really close to being champions. Unfortunately, just not not there yet. Uh, do you know about Duang? Um, I believe like I know of him. I don't really know mm -hmm. much about him other than. He is a BB tag player. <laughs> He's a really good BB tag player that plays at Ashi Jube, in fact. And he stole my pink, I believe. Damn, the pink thief. Yeah, I'm gonna get my revenge on lobbies today. Okay, I, I see, I see. <laughs> um, the players are in the lobby, but Toodles, your game has ended. I understand it might be devastating to lose to Dachi <laughs> Oh, wait. He's still here. Yes, he, he he did for Gore to leave the lobby. He's reminiscing about his loss here. Thank you, Doodles. Hey, <laughs> maybe maybe he got the sets mixed up and thought that was like another round. Sometimes I do that when I'm too engrossed. Yeah, uh, just singing Bakamitai. All right, so. I guess, as someone who's probably more familiar with these two players than I am, who do you think has the upper hand here in this matchup? Honestly, like, I do not know. It, it really depends on Wu win. Uh, like, really depends on the day. Uh, Wu woke up on the correct side of the bed. They're like very head to head. Okay, so like, if even. you if it was me versus yeah, it's very even. If it was me versus Duang, if it was me versus Isab, I would definitely say it was the, on their favor. They're uh, more skilled than I am. They play the game more than I do, but then like they're very even. They're very close to each other. Okay. I think both of them play strong teams. So just based on the teams, it's kind of hard to gauge um, who'd who'd win as well because like their teams are. I want to say like Jubei offers like some mobility, and then ob obviously Yosuke has mobility on his end as well. And then on the opposite side, you have a Dachi who offers like a great, a great assist and like active switch situations. And the same can be said about Naoto too. So definitely very close teams if you think about it. Yeah. Right now, Dachi is running away from Juve. I mean, Yosuke. Oh, the person is broken, so no BZ. Oh. Yeah. A lot of so scrambling going on. Yeah, just a lot of random hits and. <laughs> no confirms yet. The big oh, Ooh, okay. Now nice. here we have a combo. Yeah, I believe that's that's frame perfect to get the follow up on the DP with two A. Uh, I wouldn't know. I don't play this <laughs> but that is possible sometimes. The Dachi yeah. though has a lot of red health, but you can regenerate. Yeah, just switching to Jubei. Ooh, tried to charge in. Doesn't quite work out because Jubei is still bad, but still gets a big hit in. Happy Four. birthday, in fact. Ooh, Ooh. Raw supers out. Yeah, that is not going to be dead. Off. Just doing some air stalling with Jube. Switches to Dachi. Um, he has to be really careful here because he's dead from one hit. Yeah, that's Bro, there. What is he going on? <laughs> I can't tell. Uh, the Dachi JA clashed with V Slash? So, yeah, that's what it looked like. That's which is madness. But right now, looks like Jube is going to go down super. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Maybe dead Yube here. Game one goes to ISF. That is. I don't know what happened. Super fast pace, super scrambly as well. Like, Especially so much both, on my screen. Both Jube and Yosuke are really fast characters. Yeah. Jube is not as much, but. 
both of them are very air stalling characters that like to spend time in the air. For Jubei, uh, it's not as much of a problem because his uh, he has uh, the inward move, the mark move. I forgot. Mm. Uh, yeah. He can deal with Naruto 4P, but still Naruto 4P is super good, right? Yeah, it's very like people call it the best 4P in the game, I, or at I least would... up there. I, I mean, mean, there's Hilda 4P and stuff. There's Hilda 4P. There's Susan 4P. I think Susan 4P would be the most, like, great one, but that's not, like, broken. Anywho, game two, going to game 2, he runs for backlash. Ooh, DP, DP. saving him. Gets hit by the JA and... Oh, happy birthday. So good birthday! Good conversion to get that. Yeah, good conversion to get that happy birthday. Drops happy the combo there, though. Has to call 4P here again, but Jubei snipes that out. Gets air to air instead, though. Look at how high he is in the air. Seriously, yeah, that's man. What in fact, he used to go even higher in the air. Like, I think Yosuke got changed because his moon salts would like when he would whenever he would moon salt someone, he would like go higher. It was really weird, and then they changed it. Interesting. Oh, going for the reliant combo as well. I've never seen him do that. Just cut, cut the combo short. Oh yeah, Push just blocks, punishes. Yeah. yeah. This is that how it is. Yeah, it should be. Super. Down. Easy. Not even... Did, uh, not even uh, popping cross combo there. Just knew the exact amount of damage it was going to deal. That's game two. No need. These um, players... Are really even to each other. Like I said, it seems like Iceteb was the one that uh, woke up on the correct side of the bed today. Especially yeah. after beating really? Jaju as well. I imagine he's being really hyped up. Oh, he's playing Jubei Waldstein. Okay, Waldstein. that's a team I'm, I'm kind of familiar with. I've never seen him play this team before. I know he's been trying to try out a new team with Bullet Tank Waldstein or Waldstein, but just decided. That he's just gonna mix them both up instead, go with Jubei Wallstein, Wallstein, I don't know. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, I have no idea how to say most names. The only reason I know is because people correct me. I'm pretty sure Wallstein. Now, it's okay, a now German I name. Yeah. We have to ask a German person. Uh, Wallstein. Einstein. Stein sounds. Wallstein. Wallstein, yeah. right? Yeah, Stein oh, sounds like that's how it's supposed to be. Well, okay, well. Enough about the names though. Oh my god, I did both Jubei and the Wolfstein. Wolfstein, ah! Okay, Bait guess the, right there. Yeah, guess the block there. The Large Claw Man. Forget his name. <laughs> large Claw <laughs> Man, gotcha. <laughs> Alright, nice. Get the okay. Just flipped right over your uh, Jubei. Trying to air to air, but unfortunately, Big Claw Man is a bit too heavy. There, yeah. got the rebeat. 4P is so good. It was on screen for like half a second, and it. <laughs> the the move is nothing, man. That's gonna be big claw man going down here. Yeah. The claws are done. Put him away. Actually, never mind because we still got Jube, and Jube has claws too. Yeah, he does. He has mini claws. But Naruto really doesn't want to let the little cat here. Want to survive. Pass combo is triggered. Tri goes for a parry, goes for a parry, goes for a parry. <laughs> okay. I mean, if at first you don't succeed. Throw another rock. That is very good. That's rain super nice. 6k. Gets hit by the pass of 4p there. That's tough to block, but no confirm. Okay. Oh, oh he, was, he was trying to move, but just got hit by the JB. Yeah, he's trying to do 4-4. Four, four. Into a 6 6, he doesn't move where he goes. Spinning. But unfortunately, I think that might have been a miss input. And the claws did not help him after all. That's 3 0 in yeah. Ice Epsilon. I don't know, man. Ice Lip didn't just wake up on the right side of the bed. He like jumped up. He was Yeah, prepared. he was like, he woke up today, you know. I'm gonna win ATC today, he said. He woke up. Clearly, because I'm so annoyed that I missed. Man, the, the fact that I missed the match where Ice Love 
managed to beat Jaju because to me that's just so insane because yeah Jaju is just that good like he was probably I would have thought Jaju would have won this tournament but hey I mean I still just clearly feeling himself and I'm super excited to see um what he's able to do further in the tournament of course uh, he's on let me check the bracket now let's see where he's at right now he's on winner's finals actually going to be facing off against Roxas and Ooh. if he wins that it's going to be on grand finals I don't think he's was he ever on grand finals I do not know for I all I know no it's going to be his first time on grand finals I wish him all the best against Roxas because uh, first of all Roxas I'm pretty sure pl has played Yosuke Naoto before and I wouldn't be surprised yeah and Roxas is just He's like kind of on another level. Like he's really good. <laughs> the amount of players in EUPC tag that play and are really good are um, like too much. Yeah. There's not many casual players like me that are just okay. But I mean, it, it, it's because it's kind of late into the game, right? Because everyone's everyone at this point has been playing for like many years, so they know their stuff. So. Yes, yes. Going to the game, I we're going to uh, losers round four. I believe it's going to be Toodles versus Jaju. Now we'll be able to watch him in action, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to leave again. <laughs> I see Jaju. I'm very familiar with Jaju. And Toodles as well, in fact. I've played Toodles a number of times. I don't think I've actually played either one of them. I possibly may have played Toodles once or twice, but I'm not sure. But Hilda DP there, getting killed out of the corner. Gets there you sniped. go. Ooh. Just, just, just. Tries to go for a 2C end here. Hil uh, Lene is just too far away. Lene has triple jumps in this game for the most character. Yeah, so one thing immediately that strikes me about this matchup is... I, I feel like Hilda is just going to have such like an easy time keeping both Lene and Akatsuki out. Um, just because Lene or Akatsuki, I guess, don't really have many tools to kind of deal with that, lo those long range options from Hilda. Yeah, they're uh, both of these characters are trying to get in by jumping, trying to close the distance by jumping instead of just walking straight in because they don't have uh, amazing tools like you just mentioned. Well, let's go for a grab there. Fortunately, the assist was called too early. I think Jaju was trying to bait. It. A DP that doesn't work out though. The yeah, Atos to end there, the um, to the oh, oh no, unlock just waits. Yeah, he was, I think he was trying to wait for like a push block or something. Possibly. But still manages to get the grab, works out regardless. Yeah, Yuzu there, tag the Tatsuki. Some stagger pressure though going in. Tries to bait, oh, oh tries to bait a throw and got the throw baited he, just. Yeah, exactly. He still <laughs> just got thrown regardless. I, I, I think he thought it didn't work, so yeah, he just gave up. Throws in this game, move you forward, so... It's the uh, cost of 5p though, this is going to be death, I feel. Oh yeah, as long as he doesn't mess up. But yeah, he can just early super damage, here, DHC. Not that much of a bad damage. That's gonna be game one in Toodles, favor. Damn, maybe, maybe Jaju's just not having a... I mean, I don't want to disparage Toodles or anything, but yeah, usually I would think Jaju would win this, but Jaju seems to be struggling. People have just gotten a lot better, I guess. That or just Jaju... I, I personally, this is the first time I'm seeing him. So... Okay. Possibly he's just taking a long break from the game and, you know, this is first returning and, you know, maybe just maybe. a bit too rusty. Maybe, but my understanding is that Jaju Jaju's a PlayStation player, right? He doesn't really oh. play on PC much, so... I, and I think he has been playing the game, so I don't think he has that excuse. I don't know, though. Who knows? I do not know the PS4 side of things here, unfortunately. Yeah, PS4 is a dark world. It's the uh, Akatsuki 6B and a nice conversion, but the burst comes in. Goes for the classic... Um, that kick? Ooh, gets the air yes. cooler. Kind of Knifed out the air, yeah. So, Jaju tried to challenge with um, his JA. And usually, Hilda's JA is very big, but I mean, it can't beat the projectile. And she just loses. Ooh, unlucky. That was going to be a good conversion there. Almost. Back to Kuski, though. No conversion. 
Yeah, switch back. Cast the 5B. Nice parry, but unfortunately no block. Yeah. The, oh, oh my god. Daddy likes doing that. He drops the no, combo. Not Dad able you. to finish the job. That you please. Okay, guess the Anthea. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna go with the Oki. Yeah, is guess the cross up. Ooh, Ooh, nice block. Yeah. Very really difficult to block. Uh, but no blocking here. Gets cross up. Yeah, there you go. Five feet dive kick. Could I have mean, have... the most simple mix ups, right? Most effective. Yeah. Lane's dive kick is a pretty good one. Goes for a grab, but DP's out. That's gonna be Lene down, so look out to make a comeback. Ooh, Ooh just gets hit. Mainly by the assist, yeah. I don't know what he was trying, but gets hit. And that's 1 1. Ooh, no! Katsuki is living on a pixel here. <laughs> I misread. I'm sorry. The elbow's oh, no, coming please, out! Just anti <laughs> just anti actually, I guess with the Katsuki, can he anti air in that situation? Because it moves him forward. I am not sure. <laughs> Oh, Yo, good gets the four AM. Yo, time, just hit her on the toes. Oh, ah, man. Gets the uh, air dash AA here. There you go. The elbows. If he died to the elbows, that would have been great. But <laughs> I'm being tragic. Jaju, he he does a little bit of trolling. So, I mean, that's that's something he he will do when he has a lead. He'll just start like elbowing you, and it can be very tilting, especially if you're getting hit. Yeah, by the elbow. Such a stupid line. The, the way she says it too. Japanese Yuzu especially. That's that's gonna get to you. English Yuzu isn't so bad, but that's because I have a bias towards her, like the English user voice actor. Yeah, I'm a I'm a fan of the English voices, honestly. Yeah, I know a lot of people. Uh, some people just like you gotta stay true to the Japanese, but I don't know, man. Some of these English voice actors, they be doing good jobs. I gotta say, I play my game on all English as well. But I don't think there's Ace. a single English character here right now. Yeah. All Japanese. Guess the conversion here. To yeah. DP. Guess some Oki. Yeah, it has to rely on jumps just to get in. Once more, just quick Oh, and jump. hits both. Isn't able to get a conversion though. 5 BB whiffing. Tries to up back, I think, but no confirm. Ooh, blocks the block. 5C. Yeah. That's a rare thing. But no block on the EX overhead. Yes, hit Ooh, by the 6 Nice oh, conversion. Oh, missed a 2C though. Just a bit too far away there. Okay. Nice yeah, opens him up, but instant burst. But this is kind of good because now Jaju has no way of escape if he gets hit one more time. But yeah, finding that hit is gonna be difficult because yeah, you really got threat the needle. Oh Yo, that my clash. god! No one got punished. So he just didn't block low. Yeah, it was kind of scrambly. I guess neither player was expecting the clash. I wasn't expecting it either, but he there was not go. expecting the cross up, and that's gonna be the game here. Yeah, that's Jaju's version of Dive Kick 5P. He can do essentially the same thing with Hilda yeah. Yuzu. Hilda's 5C, I mean, Dive Kick, though, compared to other characters, very high recovery. Yeah, it's, it can, I think, I honestly, I don't know how it works, but I found it, like, pretty hard to punish in, like, a lot of situations. And the way Jaju does it a lot of times, he'll make it safe with um, yeah, an assist. And even on top of that, he'll active switch it sometimes to make it even harder to punish, so... Yeah. The only way to actually challenge that is to air-to-air -air her, but... These team, these team characters are just not very known for their air buttons. Yeah, Lene, Lene's air buttons, I don't think they're particularly good. Gets a DP here. Okay. Ooh, gets the hit, doesn't believe. Almost got a cool oh, conversion. Oh, he's missing everything. These Linne combos look pretty cool. Yeah, Linne combos are cool, even though they do no damage, but they're still <laughs> yeah. pretty cool. Gets the overhead here. Hi, just hits him with the 5A. Alright, I see you. Uh, no, no restand. I thought we were going for restand, restand. 2C whiffed, but the user's yeah. 50 was there to cover. Yeah, the burst punish. 
Very easy. Not gonna be death, I believe. No, no, hello damage too well for that. Blocks the instant overhead. Blocks. Went that, for the no JC. punish on that. Oh. I, I don't, I don't know if that raw JC oh, was intentional. Hey, doesn't oh, matter. Okay. He just oh. wins. Yeah, Jaju takes the game, the set actually here. I think that's. I think, I think that's one. three. Yeah, Toodles in that last game, man. He was he was struggling. Like he wasn't getting anything started. I feel yeah. like it's just chasing these characters are so hard, especially yeah. you like. Uh, Hilda can just JC away, and Yuzu can just teleport away from you and keep you at a distance. Yeah, I feel like... So yeah, as you say, chasing them is pretty hard because the, the way they can play defensively. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's even better, like, not to play patiently. I know it sounds counterintuitive to play patiently against um, Hilda, but I, I, I feel like it might be worth it, right? Make her That's come cool. to you, like, kind of wear down Jaju's uh, mental and get him to come to you instead of trying to chase him. Because that way, maybe then you'll get like a better chance of being able to land a hit, but I don't know, just theory crafting. Yeah, just theory crafting. No, I can't speak on that either. But that's still going to be the set. Like, in general, you can't really use your fireballs to uh, challenge them either because Hello 5B will just bump yeah. you and use his slashes as well. Yeah, 100%. And Cougar is like a really big plot of Linnae's game plan, so it, yeah. it just makes the matchup even harder, and yeah. We're going to be going into another loser round 4, this is still loser round 4. Uh, it's going to be Duang versus Kiryu. Two Adachis on screen, that is cursed. Adachi Gaming. Adachi Gaming. Well, I... Uh play you versus his team here and there i do want to see how he de like uh deals with jubei and adachi and their nasty stuff yeah we'll see i don't i don't know how much uh jubei experience kiryu has but i mean i'm sure he can work something out he's playing you adachi yes that is true oh unfortunately no bezio there i think you want the bezio oh yeah i saw lagging. that a little bit of lag it's the air unblockable DP. Yo, Unblockable just 5C raw? Okay. Definitely a misinput. Yeah, I feel like we might be uh, lagging slightly. Oh Bruh. my, what Yo, is going he on? doesn't get. Okay. <laughs> just things are happening. Another DP. DP here? That's not going to oh, hit you, babe. Oh, no. Teleports what? behind what? you. Never <laughs> mind. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Four bars for 2.7k. Something is happening here. Bro, Bezio. what? Both Adachis are really close. To, no, that's you that's close to dying. Adachi is down from oh. Duang's side. This Adachi okay. is also going down because Everyone Jubei did a lot of damage. There's clearly. lots of lag going on also. Yeah. <laughs> Kiryu has activated his new power uh, lag switching. Lag switch? Just hit the switch. Crosscom was activated here. Just goes EX marks, EX marks, go- Oh! Didn't get the combo off of that unfortunately. Push blocks. EX marks once more. Air stalling. Oh, gets the air got. hit. Solo you now. Just completely whiffed you there. Marks again. Gets oh, the- Gets the uh, hit. Gets the conversion. Yo, that was nice. Oh, but drops the combo. Lag was lag. too much. Oh, got hit, but no confirm. I mean- just a bit delayed on that. Oh no, Yo, he can't do that. DP. Got in again. Just silently waiting for his uh, prey and got him finally. I think that game. That was the messiest match I've ever seen. Yeah, that game was but... also super laggy as well, I feel. Yeah, I, yeah, that's part of it. What is this text? I didn't know these two hadn't interacted. Yeah. There's they, a lot of text. I'm about... not reading that. They're just talking about um, stuff. I think. Dachi is calling you be a cat or something. Like they How? talk about cats are supposed to be relaxed or something. But, but so yeah, I I don't know. If, I guess Kiryu is happy to just jump right into it again. There seemed to be lag, yeah, but hey, both of them are playing. Lag here, but let's see what will happen. Yeah, I'm I'm curious. Lag issues here. 
And it seemed like Kiryu was trying to press DP every time uh, Jubei would do his bumpers. And he's invincible when he does that, right? Yeah, so... yeah that, I've also tried that a couple of times when I didn't know he was invincible. And I've been DP punished quite a few times and it's not epic. Okay, so you're potentially seeing that Kiryu doesn't fully understand the matchup. Oh, oh, oh my gaming. god, it actually truly is gaming here. Gets the burst punish. Thankfully, though, it doesn't seem to. I mean, there's probably still a bit of lag, but not as much as I hope. Now we'll Gets see. The IBB knocked out. Nice block. Oh, he, he actually. Straight into him instead of Yeah, uh, Duang, he push blocked, so Kiri could have TRM'd him if he went for the grab. Still gets the low hit here, goes into yeah, instant DP. First, first uh, say combo. Text the grab. That's gonna be baited, but 6P is gonna make it Ooh, safe. Yeah. Sort of. That G6P nope. in the back. Good Ooh, bait. The burst bait. Really good. Kiryu gonna drive him to the corner. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, never mind. Go for a Tag 1.0 strategy. Just. Follow your assist and then run behind your opponent like this cross combo. Yeah, that's Simple classic. but really effective. Ooh, catches yeah. him in the air. Narakami JA, we don't contest those here. It's 8 frames, I believe. The very top. fast. But very fast, actually. Yeah. But that's gonna be game 2, I think. That's 2 all right. Um, yeah, wait. Didn't Duang win the first one? I do not know. I, no, I remember he, he won, won because... Okay. Yeah. The, the, the cat text, okay, I remember now as well. It's 1-1, one, one. I'm sorry. We're going to game 3 here. Uh, less lag than the first one. <laughs> We're getting used to the delay. Oh, I see what is happening. Wait. What's happening? Okay. No, never mind. I thought um, Adachi. Duwang's Adachi was on Jap Japanese because he uses the uh, English Japanese all the uh, English Adachi all the time. I thought, like, oh, he's at a disadvantage because he's not using his normal voice. Oh. But, yeah, the bug is actually affecting Q instead. Okay, push corner situation. Zero. Nice He's block. Push blockable. Yeah, ja oh, but just guess him with the DP. Ooh, he oh, tries, tries to, to bait. bait yeah. The, uh, throw, yeah. Got hit by the easier. Just the easier combos here. Casual 8.3k. EX Leo. Oh, oh nice no, sir. We react to those. Well, activating cross combat after the super, but challenges, he's not scared. The 4P oh, though, that was... yeah, there's a little gap. Try to bait the burst there. Kiryu do did have full bar, so I saw what was going for. It doesn't quite work out. Kiryu doesn't bite. Now the one without a burst is Duang though. Has to block all this. Doesn't uh, try to block the last one though. Adachi oh, is getting beat Adachi. up. Yeah, getting tagged in the back. Oh, now oh, Jubei also now got tagged. Jubei also getting hit. <laughs> This is not not wait, possibly. No, no, Maybe no, no, on a this one kill. This one kill. Oh wait, never mind. I, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. I didn't say that. That's what happens when you get channel hit uh, by five D. I guess. Nice challenge. Resonance is popped by. Yo, Adachi. just runs up five A. Yeah. Swing that sword. And that five A from you is really good. Fun. Jump cancelable. Yeah. The follow ups are pretty much un un push un push blockable. Yeah, they really, yeah. they <laughs> they turned you up to 11. He was like good before, but at least before his 5A wasn't jump cancelable. His 5AA was, but yeah, they really <laughs> gave you the source. <laughs> he needed, come on. Yeah, he needed a man. He's the protagonist. Yeah. All protagonists need to be good, especially Ruby. Thinking about it, has every protagonist just been buffed? in this game. I think... Yeah. I'm pretty sure they have been. And there's a lot oh, of protagonists in this game, actually. There's yeah, there's Yumi, like... Heart. Actually, no, Yumi isn't a protagonist. From what yeah, I Yumi, know... Yumi's not even the protagonist of <laughs> Yumi is not the protagonist of Senran Kagura. 
Oh, doesn't block the overhead. second overhead. It hits combo. twice. Now in the cross combo situation, doesn't block, block correctly. Doesn't up the burst instead. That's gonna be a dead. Yeah, instant super. Here, here. Don't let him burst. Just kill him off. The cat goes down. Cat is down. Society man has to turn this around somehow. Yeah, let's see. Got the IED JV cross up. Ooh, and we're going for the sick rounds. Yo. With JV though there. Cross gun was triggered. Good block. On the block. No punish, but still, I respect the block. I don't oh, know if Adachi you guessed JV. Dachi and here working out for the first time. Gets the meaty safe jump. Ooh, Ooh that's gonna it hit. works. Yeah. It works. Big. So blocks, the, blocks the anti air attempt. Persona, and Adachi's anti air is pretty risky because he just leaps yeah. forward and is completely open. And the reward on it isn't very good either. Well, general. Alright, so Duang kind of doing a good job. He's living Ooh. right now. He's fighting. Yeah, I mean, he hasn't died so far, which is good, but... I that think he's dead may now. be dead, yeah. I think that's that. Oh, <gasps> he doesn't go for the last hit of 5A. Ah, oh, okay. but... There you Adachi go. just smacks him in the face, tells him get down. I'm the real Adachi. I'm the real Adachi. That's gonna be the set here for, um... Um, I believe... Here you can moving on, yeah. Moving on. I do you think that is the sap? So, some good matches, especially these Adachi mirrors too. There was less Zeos than I thought there would be. But there were still Honestly, quite a lot of Zeos. That was one of the things about um, one of the things about Kiryu's playstyle, right? Because he plays you Adachi, this amazing team. But it feels like when I watch him play, he doesn't utilize all the tools that the team has. Like, he, he won't go for the Zeo mix, like, if you watch, like, a high-level Uodachi, like, any NA Uodachi, or just any Uodachi, really, they will constantly be trying to put you in that B Zeo situation over and over and over. But Kiryu, like, he will do it occasionally, but then he, like, just forgets or just decides not to do it for some reason throughout the set, mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's that's kind of his playstyle, and I don't know why he plays this way, but... I mean, it's kind of nice for the opponent because they don't have to deal with it as much, but I don't know. He trusts his fundamentals, I guess. He's trying to prove the world that, you know, he doesn't need it. Yeah, maybe. He can make it work without the uh, most um, important tool, most important ingredient. That's, uh, we're going to be going to Winner's Finals, which is yeah, Ice so... versus Rafi. I was talking about Kiryu, right? He doesn't always mm -hmm. go into those those threatening situations. But Roxas, on the other hand, he's like the polar opposite. Like, he will just abuse whatever is strong, like, regardless of... It. Like, he doesn't care what you're doing. He'll just run his game plan through and through. And we're seeing a cut... Um, <laughs> sorry. Wait. Akihiko Hilda. Akihiko Hilda. Interesting. I, I... saw I saw a tweet. I saw people like, tweet about this team. I literally, and that's all I've seen of this team. One tweet by P-Blade. So I don't know if it's good, but I've, we'll see. No, and I don't know anything other than Hilda sucks and Akiko also sucks, so... Both oh, no. characters suck in here. Oh, oh, nice anti here though. I thought he got me. Excuse me? You anti-add Moonsault? What? I and with Akihiko, possible. no less? Oh, gets, gets a TRM here. Yeah, catches you. That's like Akihiko's main game plan, right? He wants to... Yes like get at you with uh his little punches and then try and read a push block nice cross combo is triggered push blocks away jumping out nice punish yeah. but Hilda 6p was ready nice bait on the burst there actually it's gonna be a dead yosuke needs to big damage damage okay i wonder what he does oh. here okay he just actually catches him with the low and gonna be able to transition. Won't be a kill. No, well, I. Okay, don't kill him, I keep up with you. Okay, yeah, yeah. I guess we can overhead here. That's very hard to uh, block here. The PK overhead. I think that's. Is instant? I'm not I'm sure. pretty sure it's. Well, I mean. I think instant in so far it's unreactable. I believe yeah. the A version. Yeah, if you TK it, it is like literally unreactable. But he has one low dude, it's okay. It's okay. 
Akiko sucks. Just block high. Yeah. What is he gonna do? Go low? Come on. Press two C. <laughs> Not possible. Even Go though thinking about it, if he, what's he even have off his low? Like, does he get like? Can he combo he just... off it or anything? Two or does he just get like corkscrew? Corkscrew, actually, B corkscrew, and then like uh, duck another two C, and then either super or like I don't know what he does. Okay, so he's got options. He's got some stuff. Yeah, uh, just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you know the classic call assist. Go into game two here, though. Oh, nice get DP. some big DP. And Tarafu, other side. Ooh, oh, the DP hitting back. Runs into it. Gets to grab back the switch. So it doesn't beat the burst, actually. Saves the uh... Here we go. The ex banishing fan. Forces his way in. Oh my god, the Phantom Pain. No ender right there, just keep getting the 2C. Yo, Ooh, for the him straight out of it. Nice, does oh, the Oki. Uh, oh, tried to go grab. for a super, I think. Oh Missing yeah, that's, of course, that must have been it. Raw, uh, gets it low. Who gets it jumping up? But bursts at the very last second, saving her life. Uh, saving his life. Yo, 4P, Akiko. Very quick 4P, by the way. Does suck in the end. Push block and then vanishing time once more. This is not gonna be. Yo, Jacko with the foray. I like it. Two C vanishing time. Oh, it just nice runs up grab. Nail point Ooh, is just set up. Oh, DP into DP. He tried to punish. He tried to punish with an EX move or super, I think, but he accidentally just got five C. Yeah, and you're in a cross combo situation with Hilda. Really hard to block. Really Man, to block. you're saying. How Islam, he woke up on the right side of the bed today while <laughs> Roxas just knocking him back into bed, clearly. And was it 2-0? Yeah, that's 2-0 right now. I said... It's a, uh, very, really hard here. Yeah, it needs to make figure something out. Make a reverse sweep. It's tough. Reverse sweep is very tough, especially, especially against Rogas. 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 Yeah, and like considering your mental as well going in, you've just lost two games in a row. Yeah, and you know if you lose one more, you're you're done. Well, not done. That's you're in the fine. losers bracket, lose but finals. yeah. Big four P. Nice beat on the burst there. That's there exactly the sort of thing you need. Yeah. Gonna be able to get the safe jump. Oh, oh, but it just, just whips. not meeting enough. And yeah, able to get the punish on the DP. Gets the 5C Ender, unfortunately, thankfully, not that much damage. Baits, Ooh. no punish. Still gets the hit. Ooh, Yo, missed the up combo, uh, yeah. combo. It's big. Maybe. Push block is after Eco, but he'll lose. Yeah, still I don't there. know. He just kind of got hit there. There was really no threat. Just trying to jump or something. Yeah. Back into this situation, really difficult to block, and Nato is down. Really good situation has turned incredibly bad in the span of seconds. Ooh, Ooh my god, oh, what is Hilda 4 piece? Really good, huh? That's tough. He just does what she wants, man. Just magic. Here we go, out. happy birthday. Just a happy birthday. Not gonna be that much damage, though. Still, gonna be able to get both in the super. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, blocks oh, the first block. TP, but uh, TK uh, moves off the block the other one, though. I have to be All really right. careful because... Yeah, hold the 4P, yeah. man. Just gonna stop Yosuke every single time. That's gonna be 3-0, unfortunately. Yeah, 3-0. Thinking speed. back to another good Yosuke player, King Rasta, he was, that was one of his biggest complaints about this matchup. Like, Hilda was really good at stopping him, especially when she was like used as an assist. Her 4P is just nutty. It covers so much of the screen, so okay, especially yeah. where Yosuke wants to be. She wa he wants to be in the air, she's doing not, uh, flips and stuff. 4P though, not allowing for that, literally covering one side of the entire screen. Yeah, and it's and it lingers, like it isn't just yeah. isn't very quick like Naoto's 4P, it lingers. And yeah, that's 
Was that 3-0? Yeah, that was 3-0, unfortunately. Icep's gonna go down to loser's bracket. Still and has a chance. Yep, still has a chance. He'll be first thing, I will have to say. Oh, we don't know that yet. We're gonna find out. Oh, we might get your run back, because the loser's semis is... Um... Oh, that's very true. So, Judo, going into this match, Jaju, Kiryu this versus Jaju. Jaju. I'm pretty sure these two have played each other like a decent amount. And I'm fairly sure that Jaju is favored to win. Um, just based on what I know. But we'll see if Kiryu can pull anything out. Maybe he'll pull off the lag switch again. Who <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows? I mean, I've, Romani Romanian internet is supposed to be like kind of busted. <laughs> oh god, it's supposed to be super good. So I don't know. <laughs> He's actually not like switching himself. He's DDoSing the opponent. He's, he's gonna yep. be like DQ him. He's the one that's like switching up. Oh god. <laughs> We're going to game one here though. Okay. Oh, just, just jump up, do forward. nothing. Catch him with 5P though. Yeah, Hilda 4P does have a dead zone actually. Mm -hmm. Right in front of her. Easy to set up. That's going to be an unblockable. Burst stride out though. Great timing. Just double jumps out of 6B. Oh, just got tagged. So he's going to lose all that CC gauge. Oh, almost went over. over to the yeah. other side too. That would have been big if, it, if he did get over. Switching straight to Dachi. Just Gets jumps into the DP. DP. Yeah, when you use your double jump like that, you're very vulnerable to DP. So you got to be careful, especially against Hilda, whose DP hits so high up. Yeah, also, as you just saw there, Hilda, if he hits your assist, if she hits your assist, you can just teleport to you with the JV. It's really oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, cross slash, this is good. He gets Oki and Drew in the corner. Oki. Oh, Bates. That Not is... gonna be able to punish this, though, because Yuzu just keeps he swinging. could have punished it, I believe. He push blocked the Yuzu super. Yeah, potent I don't know if there's a gap in that. He might have been able to just super through it as well. No, I don't think he had enough meter, but... This is a very tricky situation. Q, you, both of his characters are very low on life. Let's be really careful with how he uses his assist. Uh, hey, BZ has been set up! I mean, <laughs> that's hitting no one, but... I mean, just do it. Just kill some birds that are flying by. Chill, why not? That is an Adachi thing to do, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Enough, huh? He'd probably do that. Oh, just guess the grab, but very slow no on the 2B to pick up. Just smack the user there, get out of my face. Nice block on the cross up. Oh, bursts in the very last second though, a nice reversal oh, grab again. Yeah, though. grabs him out of the 5A. I think this should be dead. Yeah, double super, 100%. Double cross slash, nice. Did you know that Adachi didn't actually have cross slash in the original game? I believe I heard that. I. I didn't know that until someone actually mentioned it to me. I can't remember who, but yeah. Same, I was mentioned that too, like, last week. It was very interesting. Oh, nice block. I didn't block that. Up right. backing, letting Resident Adachi run out. is on a pixel right now. Oh, no, you have to get him out. Dude. Honestly, like, I probably would have just raw, um, raw switched out. Ooh, At that really point, nice. just get Adachi out and let you get hit. Oh, Ooh, what that's nice. the but oh, just go for the JA, JB. That, that might cost him the game. I think Possibly. that might cost him the game. I don't think he's dead from this. Especially no, if he's not dead, combo. but it's going to be very hard to... Oh, that cost oh, him the game. The... Oh, no, he got the JB. Kiryu can please. You got to convert Solo... those, man. Uh, Solo U versus Solo Adachi. I mean, Solo U versus Solo Hilda is actually a very good matchup for you. Mm. Because um, she, he basically says no to Nail Torrent because Hilla likes to jump back, up back, and you know, set up Nail Torrent and essentially instantly win neutral. But since you has a full screen laser, anytime Hilda jumps, you can just follow her, neutral jump or forward jump, however you want. And the second you see the super flash, you can uh, Zeodyne back and stop her from doing that. So. It's a pretty difficult situation for Hilda. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's not as free it, but... as other 1v1 matchups uh, against Hilda. Nice, getting a combo here. Ooh, a nice block. Nice Ooh, burst as well. Yeah, the burst catches both. 
gets the uh, landing recovery, I believe. The double two three six A under DP's right out there. Fast right. combo trigger. Just double jumps and JC's out. Six B still there. Yo, the what to be? What is going on? Which side is he not coming in? DP's out once more. Two five D two B with. Okay, yeah. Got the yeah. hit. The, he baits the anti air and then catches him with the the six P of um, Adachi, and now he's in the corner. This is very good. Gonna set it up. There we go. Seeing it rarely, just goes for the five C. Yeah. Okay. And he's on That's the how he's feeling. Yeah. Ooh, almost sniped out. Oh, the BZ is facing the other way though. Yeah, wrong way. Nice Manages anti the anti air, yeah. And uses one of the few characters that can anti air the JB like that because her anti air goes so high up in the air. Uh, yes, that is a thing. And now. That is gonna be. You dead? Yeah. Oh, oh mind. the time he AA whiffed. Oh, That's gonna be a punish. That was okay, too high. Okay, doesn't get both. He could have gotten both, but oh, what? he's able to punish Yuzu. Oh, but the burst whiffed. Yeah, the burst. It just hit Adachi. Okay. And now nice block. he's in a very good situation. That's gonna whiff, and that's gonna be dead Adachi. Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, we're gonna see Solo Yu versus Solo Hilda again. One four. Resonance is instantly triggered. Nice block. Okay. Yeah, that's, oh, gonna, that's hit gonna hit her. Able to convert. Not nice gonna be able conversion. to kill. Reverse plus flash? No, just normal plus flash. Alright. Can I get okay. the plus flash? Oh, <laughs> okay, the cross slash OP is 5C. <laughs> it works out in his favor, but I don't even know what Kirio was going for. Maybe he wanted uh, EX slide or. I think I don't know, he wanted any... to um, set up EXZO. Oh, yeah, jump. yeah, yeah. EXZO, perhaps. Oh, you know, he had a genius plan in mind that we just don't understand. Yeah. Maybe it's the ultimate bait, right? You fight the <laughs> early. You, yeah, you make your opponent confused. C. Your opponent's like, oh, he whiffed 5 seats in my turn. That's exactly what happened. He'll, Dude, uh, Jaju, was... Jaju thought, you know... He whiffed, he did a 5C whiff, now it's my turn, I'm gonna press 5B and he just jumps over it and punishes him. Big brain plays. Exactly, I wouldn't have understood that. Alright, so was it 2-1? Yeah, I believe it is 2-1, yeah. Oh, went for the infamous TP, uh, 4P. TP, 4P, really strong. Dachi, uh, U5P hitting both players. Oh, catch them low. Keeps a burst safe once more. Oh, the fire, the, you, the anti air to me. Gets hit other side, but able to just burst out. But now in a sandwich situation, can you guess correctly? No, just gets hit. Oh, the 5 a whiff though. This you know, he, yeah, he actually he got out there, but instantly Kiryu just started mashing 5 a like a good Adachi player. Of course he will. Nice uh, punish on the uh, incoming. No one uh, confirm off the IO based over there. Just up backing and get yeah. caught. That's the super, and that's gonna be death. And it's gonna be a tall mountain to climb. But there's one man that can do it. Sidey man can, but covered by two beautiful girls. He's just been too distracted and forgot the block. The mountain be... is too tall. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah. He was and able to put him to the TV bowl. You really saved my cake. Yeah. Kiryu... So Kiryu's out. The tournament. I don't think Kiryu's out. Yeah, I think this is 2-1. Oh, wait. Oh. It's I thought it was... I think it's 2-2. Two, 2-2? Two. Two, two? Kiryu's, two? Kiryu's 1... Okay. I don't know. Apparently. I, know. I thought well, it was 3-1. Score one. is something. The score is something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure the game is not over yet. Okay, well, Jaji's readying up. Okay, it's not over. I'm clearly mistaken. Yeah, we can't count, but that's fine. Players can. I, that's I don't know what the score is. I'm genuinely lost because I thought it was 2 1 <laughs> to Jaji before. I thought it was 2 1 for um, Kiryu. The Kiryu went twice? I'm getting like. <laughs> <I swear. laughs> I'm getting like Alzheimer's or something. I can't remember what happened like five minutes ago. You changed colors. That's what happened. Okay. New color. Oh, the new colors are not working out though. Yeah. Irish Narukami. 
not really going as planned. Catch them low. low. Oh. oh my god, the end yeah, here. It was a reset. Yeah, he tried and to he match coming dead. down. Adachi got oh, hit too. This is the fully, the fully Irish team. Adachi's got matching yeah. colors as well. And uh, just gets again. That's hit. pretty game, right? Yeah. This is <gasps> big game. Perfect okay, doesn't well, even match the draw. That's a double perfect. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even get chipped. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that's game, right? That's game. That has to be game. There's no way we're wrong on that. I think that's QU eliminated. And we're going to be seeing losers finals versus... And uh, losers finals, Jaju versus Isaac. Okay, yeah, the run back. Yeah, and now I'll be able to see what happened. Yep, this time I'm not going to go anywhere. And I see with my own eyes, see what happens. Um, I didn't get to see the match before, which I was kind of upset about because, yeah, I wasn't expecting Isolep to win. So hopefully Isolep can take what he did before and use it in this match coming up. <laughs> yeah, hopefully he'll be able to just use his strategy, strategy of just winning and winning once again. <laughs> Possibly, you may uh, also just use the strategy of just losing, and then lose the game to win else. So, I've played, uh, I've at least played Naoto against, I because I, I play you Naoto sometimes, and I kind of, I've played against Jaju occasionally, and like, my results have been fairly mixed. Um, I, I feel like it's it's definitely a matchup where Naoto can do well, but like to me it reads more like a skill matchup. It isn't like super in anyone's favor. At least with my team, I don't. It might be different with Yosuke I was supposed to you, but that's the general impression I got playing against Jaju. Yeah. I mean, so most... yeah, we'll see if. Who got their uh, JC there? JC comment. You see a really long combo? Yeah, that's the USA combos in a nutshell. Is go on and on. Oh, oh the 4P cancel. The clash yeah, on because J the active switch. Yeah. Nice push block. Oh my Yo god, that foot like that foot P wasn't even visible on the screen. <laughs> Yo, I it's love doing really well. He has a lot of user experience, I can tell you that. He's played with Zach. Uh, and, Yo, um, catches him low. Please watch the toast. Oh, he whiffs it, but it doesn't matter because he just mashes afterward <laughs> and still wins. Of course, because he's a Yosuke. <laughs> yeah, that's match. true. And it is against Hilda, and Hilda's uh, close range buttons yeah. aren't very good. Yeah, she. I believe her first button is like 10 frames. Yeah. Everyone was. That's what everyone was crying about, right? Saying Hilda was weak because yeah. she doesn't have any fast uh, close range buttons like that. But... Oh my god, I was almost. Super nasty. Ooh, counter hit, no conversion. And... But there is a conversion when you put the 4P there. Yeah, and I don't know, man. Uh, Jashu's kind of getting slapped around. Yeah. For... <laughs> Yo, that was kind of rough. That was really difficult. Just opted to... Uh... <laughs> okay, to drop it. Um, I was going to mention, ISEP does have lots of... Uh... Zach, uh, I mean, user experience because he plays against Zach a lot. And in fact, uh, recently, yeah. I believe this month, they played a first to 100. They uh, did a first to 100? Yes. I had oh, the, Lord, have mercy. How did it I go? I had the. Zach plays Zach Hawk, uh, Usury Hawkman, if you don't know. I had the honor of commentating it with a bunch of you other people. You commentated the first? Oh. It lasted how long eight hours. Take? Ow! They Jesus. played a total of 163 games. Lord. And Isep ended up winning 100 to 63. Okay, 163. At least it wasn't like 100 to 99 because. Yeah, I know. That yeah. Was, <laughs> not a a bus to 100 <laughs> and eight hours. I mean, I guess BB Tag is like a game to do. And I know some like crazy people do it in BBCF as well. But like, still, that's just nothing. I don't think I could play this game for eight hours straight. Same. Uh, Yosuke is alone though. While we're talking about this 100, Naoto has passed away. Guess the DP comes Oh man, why you say passed away like that? <laughs> I mean, Jesus. he did pass away. <laughs> that makes me feel like 
<laughs> the guy's actually just dead. <laughs> he ain't coming back. He's not. We removed Malcolm. Look, it's always my head cannon. Like they get knocked out. They don't die they unless they get hit by that. like an astral or something. In which case, they die. I mean, there's a lot of characters that talk about killing your opponent. Yeah, that's true, actually. I'm pretty sure Carmine wouldn't let anyone live. Carmine does, Seth does. Yes, you hold a combo here. Ooh, oh, a clack! DP, yeah. That's Ant here, though. Funny interaction. Ooh, and the conversion. Wow, what a really good Ant here conversion. Gonna be I've death. Never seen that combo before. Yeah, okay, Jaju, he's turning really it up. Good. He wasn't too happy with how that last game went, so... That's gonna be 1-1, one, one. finally... ...taking his revenge on Yosuke here. We're sending him back to losers. What a stupid little annoying rat. Going for game 3 here. It's currently 1-1, one, one, I believe. Skipping intros, no need for them. The 4P with gets the DP though. Nice block. Good Elbow block, though. Man. Another great block. Oh, the DP. Straight out. Yeah, it's counter hit though. Another. Oh, the back, back dash. dash. Is the... Yo, that was a frame perfect yeah. back dash if I ever see one. Yeah. Ooh, gets some of the JB, yeah. Now to his JB is really good. Right, so it goes without saying, but yeah, that button is very quick and it's very big. Ooh, oh, like, what? The, that was interesting. Yeah, the 2B, it is an anti, yeah, so it makes sense, but it still looks weird. It's the 2B conversion once more. That combo actually does... Yeah, and now, this is tough. Is down again. So yeah, Naoto does have that option against Hilda, right? He can kind of go yeah. through everything she does, but I mean, there are risks to it, right? Because like if the Hilda player just doesn't commit to anything and you super, you're going to get punished. It looks like how he's getting punished with his life here. Yeah, and he's going to go down 2-1 in this two, first one. of three. Well, that is what happened exactly when they first played 2 Well, Not exactly, because I said won a game here, but... um. He was 2 0 and then made a reverse sweep, I believe. Now, let's see, this is not exactly a reverse sweep. Okay, so th this is even better than he was before because he has a game. Yeah. So, but... this shouldn't feel too impossible for him. It's still very, like, doable. Yes, but we will see if he can make the comeback at least. Or will he give in to Hilda and lose it? The JAs are coming out. No 4P though. There is the both of the 4Ps flash. Cash in the backpack. Yeah. Uh, nice guess him the four, coming down. Uh, yeah. Three. Goes for Ruhu. Unfortunate. Ooh, a nice Those burst. Kind of body no punish actually gets him to grab and gets a throw punish. Yeah, and Ice lives in like in a really bad spot right now. Good oh block, my god, but... how did he block that? Nice. <laughs> it nice doesn't punch, matter, yeah. still gets hit. Instantly bursts out, and once again, seeing Ooh. no no option for burst right now from my slip. So if he gets hit, it's gonna be fatal. That's why he opts to back. Oh yeah. my god, the end here. He went for the super, doesn't need it, but. Uh, oh, goes for the super back again. Versus super yeah. again. Jaji was feeling himself there. He definitely he definitely knew what I slip was thinking. Unfortunately, I said. Wasn't able to make another. Wasn't able to take the get set this time around. Has given to Ju Jaju's Hilda, and yeah. he's going to be out of this tournament for today. But really good uh, sets. Really good. Yeah, for sure, a good showing. Being able to beat Jaju like at all in winners bracket to begin with, that's very impressive. <clears throat> and if anything, uh, if the uh, losers, I mean grand finals, ends up coming to like a two-two. And Jaju loses. Oh, he's gonna be the reason why he lost. You know, he sent him to losers. 
Yeah, that's true. But essentially, he, he can brag about the fact that he won. Yeah, of course, you've got those bragging rights for sure. We're gonna be seeing grand finals here, though. It's gonna be Jaju versus Roxy. Which I don't know what it's. It's. Uh, he's gonna probably play a random team again. I mean, I'm saying random, but. I'm really very. Good I'm like super curious to see how this goes because Jaju and Roxas are two players of incredible strength that don't get to play each other often because Jaju mainly sticks to P um, PlayStation and Roxas is PC only. So seeing them come, like, seeing them fight in grand finals of this tournament is kind of nutty to me because it's a matchup that I've wanted to see for a while and I honestly can't tell who's going to win. Oh, Roxas no has way. picked a weird He's team. Mitsuru that... <laughs> Kogane. Dude, okay, I've never seen him play rat. this team before. I don't know I'm how super this... excited. Yeah. I'm, I like Mitsuru a lot and I'm excited to see someone play her at all. So I'm very excited to see how Roxas is going to play this yeah. team. Fun fact, Jaju actually used to play Mitsuru. He played Damn. Mitsuru Yuzu back in 1.5 when the team was like the best team in the game. Uh, but now, uh, yeah, he switched to Hilda. He's on the Hilda train. Nice DP though, unfortunately gets grabbed here. Burst, yes. got the burst punished. Easily punishes the burst and it's going to be corner Oki. Yeah, it goes into the super because I believe you get better Oki. Oh, something able to happened punish. There. The oh. anti airs has to burst to save you. Back dash, right? Not the dash, back Backdashes. And the 4P hits Mr. The 4P coming out. Yeah, that was a good block by Jaju just to recognize Ooh, him. The 4P. I hit by triple overhead. Man, this is destruction right now. Not death. Not dead. Oh and my the 4P, god. The 4P there you go. Finally hit. That's what you need. That's how it starts. Now we're going to be seeing some of the instant overheads, I believe. Blocks it, Overhead though. blocked. And bursts, yeah. Go straight out. Nice burst point there. That was a very good burst as oh well. My oh my god, the cross-up. <laughs> Funny elbow. elbow. Elbows be hitting different. I don't even think it was the elbow that hit at that point. I, yeah, I don't know. That might have just been the arm itself. Like her shoulder. Gotta look at the hitboxes on that. I have no idea. Yeah. Alright, 1-0 to Jaju. I'm pretty sure Roxas is going to switch teams. Who knows? I, I would like to see Mr. Yeah, you're a Mr. fan. Yes. Oh, I think I saw Seth. No <laughs> way, Mr. Seth. This is actually a team I wanted to try out, but I didn't feel like it. Seems uh, like a rough team. You don't think it's a good team? I, I, I mean, I, th I don't think it's the best team. I feel like there's uh, better see. options. Yeah, for but sure. Let's see if Roxas can make the best of it. <laughs> Mitsuru is another character that I don't really see much in 2.0 in general. She was like the queen of 1.5 and then I don't know what happened to her. They changed her partner and she's died somehow. Yeah. And better characters were in the game. Gets the counter at 214A, unfortunately no confirm. You can combo off of counter at 214A. Ooh. 14C's coming in, push blocks. Just a slap on Mitsuru's face there. Yeah, the anti the anti yeah, yeah. Jaju has been really on point with his anti as today. Yeah, today it's come up to the list. Oh, the oh, JB comp. JB goes <laughs> wild. Swing and a miss. That's oh. gonna whiff. Oh my god, everyone's whiffing. Yeah, something is happening. DP comes up. Yeah, Woo! okay, yeah. No, Jaju, okay, that's Jaju knows. knows. He was a Mitsuru player and he would do that all the time. He would do Kudroi, um, Kudroi, and then whenever like he would be punished, about to be punished, he would just DP, like, for free. I think he was in that situation because of the backpack plus, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that was, was an unfortunately um, able to block the 4P plus teleport mix-up. Really tricky. Yeah. All right, that's 2-0. I don't know, man. I know you yeah. want to see the Mitsuru, but it doesn't seem to be working out. Maybe a different Mitsuru <laughs> team. I mean, oh no, he's sticking with it. He running, he's running it back. Okay, that's brave. Plus, I mean, he's on winners, so yeah, he's actually, still going that's true. He has. What some if he's just memeing, you know?
He's memeing uh, his winner's run, possibly. Who knows? Ooh. Yes, it's both of them. This isn't what you want to see. Okay, Seth falls out. Very fortunate. DP's out. DP. Thought we were going to see a super from Jachi there. Oh, oh the overhead whiff, but okay. overhead comes in again. Yeah, that time nice. it hits. Nice burst punish. I burst B, but no punish on the burst. Six, six piece coming in. At DP. The two BB whiffs. Tries to DP ah, here again. Punished. He's been kind of DP crazy. Oh, that looked yeah. like there's going to be a crazy combo there from Jachi, but he drops it, unfortunate. Wipes up the orb. Gets the cross up. Yeah, punish that. Counter into Oki here. But yeah, Seth's just able to jump out. Nice grab there. Yeah, not a grab, but hit grab. Gonna set up the same situation, but Jachi able to jump out. <laughs> Going wild there, Hypey. Oh no! Yeah. 2-1-4-C into J2-1-4-C into DP. There's no bite there. Yeah, Go wild to... with the teleports there. Oh, oh my, my god. god! He needs to cut up his DP usage. He's been punished for those so often. <laughs> and he does it again. Please. Oh and no! He... Oh, just... Got hit again with the DP. Nail torn and coming in. DPs. And it seems like nice all of Jadjus have been working. Oh my god. All now of he's going have not been DP. working. Okay, I feel like this is just a meme at this point. Jazzy's gonna yeah, reset the bracket. Yeah. Clean 3 0. Something happened there. I don't know what happened. Yeah, that gorilla brains got switched on for a minute. Yeah, there was a lot of DPs near the end there, especially when the 3 got was by himself. That's gonna be bracket reset, though. Yeah. <laughs> a really bracket quick reset. bracket reset, in fact. I forgot this was grand finals for a second. <laughs> Me too, with the way those two were playing. <laughs> Well, not these two, just uh, Jaju. Okay. Ah, see? There, there he's done meaning now. <laughs> there you go. Now it's time to try. Alright, bracket got reset. Tournament's on the line. Seth Elder's coming out. So we're going to be seeing the much-loved, beloved Hilda Mirror. I know everyone loves to see that. Everybody loves to see this. My favorite. Two defensive characters playing defensively against each other. Oh, and tries to punish it with a burst. Gets the mix-up, though. I'm... Okay, I'll have... You guys know? I have played against... Oh my god, that was actually kind of hard. I have played against Roxa Playing this team, and I think I won a single round. So... If Jaju loses 3-0, that means, must mean I'm better than Jaju. Oh, here we go. You heard it here first. So Jaju... <laughs> Yeah, you better you not lose you gotta, you, Yeah, you gotta win. You gotta win at this <laughs> one. It's such a tricky situation to be on. That's so hard to block. Yeah, uh, the 50 50. I mean, it's literally yeah. a guess, right? You can't react. Big I DP. Like that could be safe, but gets the hit. Man, look at all the health that this team has. Ooh, stops. He actually gets the hit with the yeah. He gets the hit with the JA, but the 4P just stopping him, forcing him to block. One going of the strengths into... of 4P. Nope, not going to blue. He just goes straight into the super instead. Ooh, Ooh, reads the neutral skip. Guess the DP. Neutral skip isn't fully invincible. Yo, Mixies, never mind. Roxas was ready. <laughs> this time his DP worked. Gets grabbed though. And right now, Rox is down to solo Hilda, so honestly in a pretty bad spot. Okay, just waiting. Killing. Yeah, oh he's wasting God. out the resonance. But at the same time, Roxas is gaining health. Nice block on the instant overhead. And he's probably gonna want to get Yuzu out and... Ooh, ooh, now it's actually a Hilda mirror. Yeah. Could have gone to get Yuzu out sooner, I think. Oh. No conversion off the instant overhead, but just gets hit. Damn. You know, that was a good... Like, Jaji was in a very good spot there. He had two characters. Deroxas is one, but... Roxas able to stay <laughs> calm, stay composed, and... With the yeah. DPs there. That's gonna be game one of the bracket reset going to Roxas. He may have finally found it. In his stride. And... I want to say Jaji was no... He's, he's no stranger to playing against Seth Hilders. We have a few of them on PC or PlayStation. I say a few. I think we have... We had one who, who went to Japan, who's gone back to Japan, and then we have another. 
But I don't believe... Hmm. I don't know how often uh, Jaji plays against Keyblade. I don't think they play that much, to be honest. So. Not sure. Probably not the most experience. Ooh, yes, the hit the here, though. Well, Pace the, the burst. burst. Yeah. Gonna be good damage here. Yep, and a spend all into mix up. Ooh, nice it, block yeah, and a DP too. Very good block. Hopefully, Jaju has a DP of his own. What 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 happened? <laughs> I have no idea. I honestly <laughs> God, don't know what just happened. That was so <laughs> weird. The, the Seth Orb hit, but I I don't know. Yeah, something it's, uh, something happened there. Oh yeah, Harold. Run back the tapes. Okay, well, I don't think I'm better than Judge. He has taken this game. Yeah, he wants to take the last game as well. <sighs> so I think what happened there is uh, the orb was out. Jaju mm -hmm. was playing as user. He did a throw an active switch, and the orb hit Hilda during her active switch recovery. But the throw lasted so long that Hilda was able to get out of the orb hit stun and continue to combo. I see. Interesting. Okay. Hey, long throw animations. You have a slight buff. <laughs> yeah. The slight advantage you have. Yeah, it gets him with the cross up there. That's the classic Ooh, judgment. Let's go for a grab, but he was still in This is going to be punishing the incoming burst. Yep. Very good because he's still in the corner, and yeah, Ooh, just a DP. DP. So many Rox DPs. is kind of shook right now. That's a very risky DP. Gonna pay for it. First risky DP. You need to go to the setup able... here again. Yeah. Ooh, does a late active switch to the same side, but he blocks it correctly once more. Yeah, nice Rox is on point with the blocks. Whoa, Ooh, just... catches him. No conversion though. Yeah, no conversion. That's unfortunate. Okay, set lock. He missed 5B twice. Make it away. Oh! oh and the something DP. happened there, DP. But, because Hilda's DP takes some time to, like, yeah. hit all the way above her. So she wasn't able to punish. And Rox is panicked and did the DP of her own. And, oh, no. I guess the fuzzy. Just yeah, punishes. Takes the overhead and uh, takes the fuzzy. Oh, that was a really good punish. And gonna be in a very good spot here. Because it's gonna be able to get some O key, yeah, TP 4P. And now, really can hard. Seth block. block this. Actually, no, you don't. You have Seth to go across the screen. Yeah, but. I mean, it doesn't matter when there's a massive 4P. Yeah, it's an active hitbox. This is not gonna be dead, but. And you guess uh, he doesn't guess that time. He guessed the, the correct slide, but he didn't block low. Yeah, happens. Happens to the best of us. I need a to break so easily. Yeah, every time we're in this situation, it's essentially an unblockable bit. Gotta pray to the Yomi gods. I hope that you pick the right place. It can be the same side, high, low. It can be the same side. Uh, oh, the other side. I low, but switching uh -oh. once again. There we go. Got you, Yumi. Finally, it's coming out. So yeah, he's down. It's two one currently, right? Or I believe so. It is two one. He's down two one. But yeah, this is this is it, right? Because he yeah. can't change teams after this. He's he locked in. With... I got you, Yumi. Or... Oh, tries to ex uh, slash to Bzio, but bit too late. Cross okay. down triggered. Yeah, First just bust that. Ooh, Yumi. Ooh, able yeah. to keep Hilda at bay with her projectile. And just gets hit. It comes set up. Oh, no, just straight up combo instead. Okay, the fuzzy. now he block oh, the fuzzy. he blocks the fuzzy. He knows. Gets hit with the 4P. Yeah, this game has been all Roxas. Yeah, Jaji was not. Jaji means just too much. Yeah, Jaji has not had a chance to play the game like at all. And yeah, who knows? I don't. I don't even know where you had to block. 
I wasn't paying attention, yeah, and I definitely got hit. I definitely got hit this entire game too. That was an easy game number four. For Roxas. And that is 2-2 two -two now. Final, um, final game. This yeah, is final, it. Final game. Let's see if... <laughs> Jaju is... I don't think Jaju is going to be yet. Uh, but it would have been cool if he also switched to Adachi Yumi in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't think Jaju has, a, has an Adachi Yumi. <laughs> would have been funny though. Yeah. But we'll see. I think he's a user Riha ride or die. So, I, even if he switches team, it's probably going to still have Yuzu in it. Game yeah, 5 starting here. Elbow going in. Ooh, already, yeah. You got hit once and now it's going to have huge repercussions for the rest of the game because you're just going to be stuck in this corner situation. Nice burst though. Yeah, able to bust out, which is good. Tries 5B but gets hit by the Yumi projectile. Oh, really they good DP. You it's hit coming down with the JC. Yeah. By that JB. Nice combo. Yeah, I guess started here, which is very good for him. This is the Actually, first time I feel like he's too. really gotten started this entire set or this entire matchup. Nice oh, that isn't gonna punish. Burst, and that's gonna punish. Yeah. Oh, get the D, got the DP punish okay, for the elbow here. Actually, no, but, no, that's just still alive. That is so bad. That if you would ended a Dachi, that would have like I'm pretty sure that would have just been Jaju's game straight up. Yeah. And he based the bus. No, Jaju is crumbling all before you. The house of cards is falling down. So badly. That's gonna be a dead hill there. Oh, this is not good. Okay, get the grab. Yeah, cut the it's backpack something. though. Yo, just doesn't Yo, catch. Just end presses here. stuff. That's gonna be dead, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, and Frustra that's yeah. game. Oh my and lord. Boxes takes Dude. the tournament. I, Jaju's gotta be kicking himself off. <laughs> yeah. One, you got the bracket reset. 2 0, and then your opponent makes a. He one. had a Dachi down to one pick, so he just needed to yeah. do something. Just like, a single Adachi, hit just Adachi. finish the combo. Adachi would have died. Unless there was some reason he couldn't finish the I don't know. Like, I, don't I don't know remember. user roots, but... Yeah. Unfortunate. That was very unfortunate indeed. Adachi living on a pixel, living on a prayer, and just coming back to Jaji's, uh, hunt Jaji's life there. Yeah, you mean Adachi. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be it. Now... Um... I believe we have the results ready. On 8th place, we have Silver Bows, which I believe is a new player. Um, yeah, I don't think we got to see them play. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we got them we got to see them play, but I'm I'm pretty sure they play Azrael and Akatsuki. They're pretty new. They play on the beginner's tournament uh, a lot, of, too. And um, it seems like they made it 8th. Good job on them. Uh, I wish we could see them play, but unfortunately, we didn't have the chance to. Seventh place is Mona, which played on the first game, I believe. Uh, the mm -hmm. first game of this tournament. He played Ragna. He plays. No, Jin Ragna. No, no, Jin Susano. He tried Jin Susano for a Jin Susano couple first, of games. Yeah. And then switched to his main team. Was able to get seventh, uh, the first beginner's cha uh, tournament champion. Good on him. Uh, got, was able to get seventh there. Sixth place is Toodles. And Toodles plays really well. I was really excited to see some Linnea combos. I haven't seen Linnea like almost ever. So yeah. it was really interesting to see some Linnea combos and Linnea setups. As Dive far as I know, up. Toodles is the only Linnea in Europe. So. Possibly. I mean, maybe it's different on the European, I mean, uh, PS4 side of things, but I'm pretty sure so. he's the um, only Linnea on the PC side. Fifth is Duang, which. Uh, I, I'm not sure who he lost. I'm pretty sure he lost to Isep, uh, but yep. it was a close set. They tried, and the classic rivalry, uh, we got to see it again. Unfortunately, Isep was the one that woke up on the correct side of the set, despite being shot into his um, place <laughs> a bit later. Fourth place yeah. is Kiryu. Kiryu can. 
Yeah, I believe he played you with actually, but a bunch of other teams, especially you, Hilda, which was really surprising. I didn't expect to see that team today. Yeah, but... I can't. I don't remember. How did that even go for him? Did it work out? I don't think it worked out. I think he switched right back to Yuadachi. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't surprise <laughs> me. But he got fourth place. Congratulations. And Ooh. top three is Iseb. Uh, Iseb got third place. And he made a really good uh, show, especially when he knocked out Jaju to losers and took the set as a rear seep on the winner's side of things. It was really interesting. I didn't actually expect to see that happen when I saw you as a Hilda, even though I didn't know much about Jaju. It really yeah, scared me. <laughs> dude, like, as you saw, like, Jaju got second in this tournament. So, you know, like, that was a really big yeah. upset in my eyes that he was able to beat um, Jaju the first time. Even though Jaju came back and beat him again, that was still very impressive. Yeah, and came close. So, uh, good job on him. I congratulate him. I'm pretty sure he's going to downplay himself still, but that is fine. Uh, second place is Jaju, which made a really good show, came back from losers. I think he got knocked out to losers in winners round two, which is like really insane because that's so many games that you have to win. But yeah, if you're really well... all the way back up to second. Yeah, climb is all the way up to second, even though it was a rough climb. He tried try and tried, but unfortunately our first place Roxas yeah. In the very end, by switching to Yumi Adachi, he was able to secure first place. Able to clutch it out, but hey, it wasn't it wasn't a free win by any means. Like he almost lost that final final game as well. Yeah, it was really close. It was down to the wire. Don't let the score uh, change your opinion or decision on this. It was really really close that. Yeah, for sure. And that's it. Yeah, that's uh, our seventh fate for BB Tag UPC Tag. Tomorrow is Neko's Maiden and Soul tournament. Next week, next week is Melty Blood Type Lumina release. Yes. Oh man, Melty. Melty will be releasing. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to buy it on release, but who knows? We'll see. I believe we'll be, be, the ATC will be hosting tournament. Uh, oh yeah, for, for sure. ATC just jumps oh on just jumps on any any fighting game that comes out, especially anime games. So. Yeah, Looking forward to that. For the European side of things, so... May look forward to that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if we'll still run our usual tournaments next week or if we're making a free weekend for Melty Blood Type Lumina. But. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, but. Yeah, I, I don't exactly know what that means. I guess that going to be next week is only going to be Melty Blood Type Lumina sort of thing. I, I'm not sure. I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? The, yeah. the new game coming, coming out, you gotta. I mean, most people are going to be interested in that game, and there's so much crossover with BB Tag anyway. I'm sure most people that play BB Tag are going to play Melty. Um, so yeah, awesome. that's something to look forward to. I'm excited, of course. I don't know who I'm going to play. I'm, I have two characters in mind, but I'm I'm not fully sure yet. I we'll see you didn't get in. I'm really sad. <laughs> yeah. I have, I, if I get the game, I will definitely play. Definitely will be playing Noel though. Noel is very hot. Oh yeah, the <laughs> Noel. I saw people going crazy about her throw animation on Twitter. So. Ah, that's Wagner's throw animation. Come on. <laughs> the DJ's coming out the work. <laughs> hey, I, I respect it. Yeah. Uh, still though, that was the tournament for today. And I, like I said, we're not sure if we'll have a BB Tag tournament next week. Yeah, it's probably but... not happening. <laughs> <laughs> we'll update you guys uh, and see what happens and if we do end up having a tournament we hope you guys will join us and other than that thanks to the players for joining and participating thanks to Seth for hosting the tournament and thanks to, and thanks to my co-commentator co Monkey today for joining me on this intense journey yeah thank <laughs> you as well for coming through I, sorry I dipped out on a few occasions no, please forgive not. me but yeah, I had a lot of fun. Thank you, everyone. And see you next time. Yeah, see you guys next time.